Hello, everybody. I'm just about ready to get started. I figured since we're playing a card game, I might as well as do at least a soundtrack from a game that has cards on it. Bonus points if you even recognize the soundtrack. Well, welcome in Parameter. Hope you're doing well. So yeah, I was thinking uh, before we d dive into serious completion of the game, we're just going to try beating the, I guess, the different draft tournaments. Now, I'm kind of curious how it's going to work. I hope it. I hope it's more along the line of you have to win with like 20 booster packs and make a viable deck kind of thing. I'm really bad at the one where you open cards and collectively take a card as it goes around and around and around. So I'm hoping it's the former and not the latter, because I'm super bad at that format. I'd rather just try to work with what I'm given rather than make that choice. So I think I'm just about ready to get started. I'm not sure how long the, the game mode is. I don't know if it's going to be like a, a dungeon. I don't know if this is going to be a couple floors. And by floors, I, I, I mean more like rooms. Hmm. Interesting. Saw some news pertaining to Kirk, but when Kirk is here, I'll make a comment. Saw an odd thing in the news today. But anyway, let's go ahead and go forward. We're gonna pause the Arcana soundtrack. I <laughs> like sped up there for a second, that was kinda goofy. So it should be booting up in just one moment. I almost had to think about what button was confirm. <laughs> Darn you, Nintendo games, giving me the mix. But anyway. There we go. So you just gotta get comfortable with the controls again. Okay, so from the standpoint of what we have to do after this... <clears throat> I mean, I could probably do at least more Way of the Stranger to see what happens. I would like to complete at least one of these challenges. Some of them look kind of unfun, to be honest with you. Like, Lost Wreckage, I want the rematch on that challenge. Reach bottom of Dune Dome while negating damage from 10 different attacks. That also seems incredibly easy. I, I could literally just stall. If, as soon as I know that there's a like, card recycler and complete the challenge, then just beat the dungeon as normal. So I'm not too worried about either the uh, Guardian or Warden, whatever they were called, challenges. But anyway. So we've completed most of the challenges except for the ones that we don't have unlocked. So that's fair. See, what I'm not sure about these bottom ones, specifically... I don't know if this is like a pre-made deck. I mean, I guess I could see what happens if I go here. It... Looks like it just gave me my other deck. I mean, it doesn't look that different. Oh no, I didn't use Bloodstop before. Okay. So this is another pre-made deck. I guess I could do these challenges before the drafts. I mean, we're just going to acknowledge whatever I have is just horrible. Curio. Oh wait, no, 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 no. This... Maybe I, maybe I use Downpour to fill up my slots. Like, I guess there's no rules. I just got to complete it. I don't really care if they hit me. I'm in the healing mode. I mean, I could just beat it with my current option. I don't think that's going to be that difficult. Getting rooted is kind of annoying, though. I'm not going to lie.
if I just do something like this... Yeah, that should one-shot. Hopefully you're doing well in Parameter. If everything has crossbows, this could be annoying. It just really depends on what the rest of the room is like. But I'll take Spark. I mean, I don't think I ran Spark in the other build, so it's possible this is a custom deck. It's just, it was so similar to what I was using, I honestly couldn't tell right away. That's a lot of bombardiers. Um, I kind of wish I had a different Curio for this for more AP, to be honest. But I guess if that's also chosen for me, and it just happened to be the one that life steals, that's a bit unfortunate. Let's check your range out, so you can hit me from here, right? Wait, is this pretty much no matter where I move, I get hit? Wow, that actually really sucks. So I guess to take the least damage, I need to go here. I'm still going to get crossbow. There's nothing I can do about that. Hmm. The question is more how much damage do these guys do? Alright, so I could go like this, and then kill this guy. Week has been fine, good to hear. So, maybe this challenge is more annoying than I thought it would be, mostly just because it's nothing but ranged attackers. <laughs> uh, it's kind of rude. I think we'll do a 1, 2, 3 to get out of there. If they still hit me with that movement, I'm calling shenanigans. If, okay, please don't put the bomb in front of me. Okay, good. So at least with the Fury Swipes, I can force healing. Did he really just drop the bomb and run from me? What a jerk. I think that killed him. <clears throat> yeah, it did. Alright, so now it doesn't matter what this enemy does, he's not gonna be able to hit me. Unless he threw it in the corner there, I guess. Never mind, he got me. He's better than me. I'm gonna multi swipe here just to get the curio heal. So this is like a boss room. I at least have a lot of AoE. I wish I had more movement, though. Unfortunate that I don't have movement. So these guys take a turn to hit me. These guys will always hit in the Cardinals. So my goal is to get as close to them as I can on this turn. And then try to downpour one of them. So I could do like a... I could do like a spark shot into double downpour, maybe, if I wanted to just burn my hand. See, the problem with this is more... I don't I don't have any 3 damage projectile. If I did, I would move right, projectile up, then move up. But, uh, red, red kind of bad. <laughs> or at least the cards they're giving me are bad. Like, I know there's at least 3 or 4 damage projectiles. Um, but spark is not the one that I want to see. If I double spark, I could have killed. You can see the range of these are kind of terrible. Discard up to three cards and inflict one damage for it. Yeah, see, this is more of the desperation draw. I don't really want to use this card, to be honest. I don't like field burst in this one. So I think what I'm going to do... Do I just take the damage so I can get the position? I th think I do. Yeah, let's get in the position. Sadly, I don't get additional agility here. I more just want to make sure that those other guys are also not lined up with me.
It's a curiosity about this one. Let, let's learn together or something. Okay, so that will cause the recast to occur. Interesting. So this should be GG for the other guy then. Is it'll put him at one? But more importantly, he's gonna get crossbow bolted in the face. Oh, or is this not an automatic crossbow? Oh, it is. Oh, it just rotates. Never mind. Not automatic crossbow. That's unfortunate. I remember to finish Legend of Dragoon last week, so I'm done with it. Back to playing Tales of Vesperia. Uh, we'll play Vesperia, I think, on stream at some point. I think you requested we hold off on it, specifically, now that I think about it. Um... Hmm... I don't have good access to a lot of these enemies. So the problem with this is I don't know how far this reaches. So I could get rid of my hand to possibly delete the flower, but that really just depends on if I'm able to do what I need to do here. It's actually kind of annoying that I can't see what it does. So what am I going to do? I'm going to choose to suffer damage. I think no matter what I do here, it's lose-lose. It's because of the stupid flower. Yeah, let's hard commit to kill the flower. We, Because otherwise, this is going to annoy me. So even if I get stunned here, I have an out. Oh. <clears throat> I mean, well, I forgot about him hitting the other guy. Well, that was just stupid of you. I don't know why you aimed at the crossbow. Welcome, Calvisha. Well, there is another flower in the corner, I guess. I wasn't paying attention to that. But I think what I could do... So let's copy some cards, because I need some cards. I drew... Literally nothing. I hate Blood Snot. So that was not useful at all. Um... So if I... I can't point blank shot this. And... Okay, if I... I don't like using Downpour here, but it does the same thing as Flame Ring. No, 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 actually it doesn't. So if I do this and then I Downpour, that's what I want to do. I actually don't want a copy of Flame Ring. I want a... I want this thing to die. I don't care about the scroll. The scroll can do whatever it wants. Ooh. I didn't think they could hit through the wall there. I've learned the hard way that they can hit through that wall. That is actually extraordinarily unfortunate. I actually legitimately thought that was a wall they could not hit through. Because there are things that interact with walls and things that don't interact with walls. They apparently ignore walls. That was not how I wanted to learn that, but that's fine. Yeah, they went right through the wall to hit me. Now, they hit each other like big dummies, and that saves me some time. I mean, that saves me a lot of time. So I mostly just want Wound to wear off, so I've already reduced how much damage I'm taking here. So if this is the final room, then I don't care. Mostly just need to make sure that these guys die. How is the best way to do this? So I could... Am I allowed to discard the Wounded card? No, I'm not allowed. Okay, I was gonna say. Let's say I don't like that card. I don't like that card. This card is okay. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. I didn't know how long of a range that was. Ugh, that's annoying. So I want to do something like... Please don't target in the upper right or I'm going to get tilted. Okay, so we want something like this. I'm just going to get rid of this card no matter what. 
just to get rid of you. Because <clears throat> I'm not going to use that other card at all. I guess when I'm looking at it, I guess they do more of an arcing motion. I guess that's fair. So they're going to kill the guy in front of me if I don't do anything, which I don't think I want to do anything. I mean, I could wound him and then move if I wanted to. The question is more is where is this flower targeting? Okay, so if I bloodshot you, you might die to your friend there. Close. Fortunately, the other one was always going to hit him. I swear if the flower is aiming weirdly. Okay, it's aiming properly now. I want to do something like this to dodge the hit. So hopefully because this is a boss room, or at least it looked like it was, that this is the final challenge. How injured are you? Okay, you're within kill range. If you're swipe then. So if I have to go further, it's not the end of the world. I have some HP. Oh no, it keeps going. Never mind. The skulls are just abound. Okay, well that changes my strategy a little bit. Um... Hmm. This is actually just horrible. Oh, I thought I was done. I would have played that a little differently. <sighs> this is what I don't like about not knowing how big the dungeon is. So I took a lot of damage in the other room, and I would have avoided it because I wasn't paying attention to the symbols. So I thought when we went there, the skull icon meant it was a boss. I think I'm in a position where I can't win because this deck is terrible. I think I just choose to die. I don't see how I could kill this room with my current hand at all. They're untargetable. They do about two damage a hit. There, I have zero mobility in hand. I have one AoE. Nothing, nothing has reached except for this. So, like, I'll use it. But... I'm not in a position where I could really do much. If I had a second projectile, I probably would have been okay. But I think no matter what I do here, I'm in trouble. So I just gotta move forward. Yeah... Oh, they're the ones that only do one damage? Oh, maybe I have a chance then. I thought they were the two damagers. Oh, there's the two damager. So, yeah, this is not great. So that other guy's dead already. I might as well hit you just for the sake of the curio, because it's not like they're not going to... Yeah, now I'm diseased. Or I have immunity to disease, apparently. Okay. Did it take my other clear runes? How does that work? I'm definitely double checking. I don't think I played this deck. I mean, I had some weird cards in my hand, but that's fine. We're gonna do this. I think I did this just to kill him. Yeah, if they were all the two damagers, there's no way I would win. So I'm going to try to outmaneuver them here. Alright, so I can burst kill one of these. So much damage they could still do. Alright, then let me get rid of this one, maybe then. So you're already dead.
Oh, and there's more than one floor. Oh, so it is like a proper dungeon. I'll probably redo the challenge. Just, just kill me. I'm not doing this challenge with this much HP. Yeah, also knowing that they go through walls would change my opinion. Because I definitely took like 12 damage when I didn't want to. Where if I had just assumed that they could, I would have done something else. Just kill this character. I'm not going to bother trying to kill like three chakram users with this. So we'll try that again. So I'm just going to double check. So curiosity. If I swap decks, because I was going to say I had filler cards in here before. I wonder if if I use a real deck, if I'll be fine, <laughs> if it doesn't replace anything. So I, I am all for a real deck. Yeah, maybe we bring in our green deck if we're just allowed to do it. Then I get rid of the curio. I mean, to no one's surprise, I, I struggled with the red cards because red cards suck. Start a combat, heal 10. Um... Maybe I just go for plus one healing at the end? I don't really need a strong curio, to be honest with you. You know what? Let's let's clear our deck out and decide from here what we want to do. Let's actually make a brand new deck. Okay. Let me go to Oh, that's right. It doesn't show me if I do that. So to make sure we can draw extra cards. That's good. Maybe one extra card draw. One extra slot, and then because it's a challenge, we go for 10 HP. Or 5. 5 might be fun. Because that way we have some wiggle room with damage. So what do we want to take? Ninja Backpack is okay. I probably want all the to the vaults. Adrenaline is an easy buy-in. Rain Down was amazing. That dive sounds fun. Bookshot sounds fun. Blink Strike if at 1 AP recast. Okay, I think I like that. We want Max Boomerang for sure. Aerial Ace sounds exactly like what I want to do. Probably want some Barrage. Keen Dash is so good. We're taking that. Shurik and Storm. Useful for combo extending. Driving Slice is literally free AP. I don't like Cardinal Shot from what I remember. Sharp Dash was broken. Shock Jump was good. Quiet Flutter broken. Shine Spark good. Pounce is an instant buy in. Uh... Hard throw is whatever. We'll get a bombing jump just for more mobility options. I'll get one healing card as a safety factor. Although I just realized. I wonder if when we get to the end, if we are allowed to reset our cards. Hmm. I might have to take the full 80, because I, I don't know if we're going to get a card reset or not. So Shuriken is just literally free damage. I'm going to take those. Or I could get rid of Shuriken and just... Take Ninja Backpack. Oh, you know what? I could do a hook kunai and shuriken. I guess there's no downside to it. Hook kunai. 
Maybe something like this is probably fun. So I'm using every single card slot possible. Get rid of one hook to get another kunai. I mostly just want it for mobility options. So Ninja Backpack will eventually draw out, which is fine. That's extra AP. We have a couple draw cards in general. I have Shock Jump for mobility. Let's see how this goes. Welcome, Nango. Okay, so we are using our curios and stuff. I just wasn't sure because I had so much filler before, I honestly couldn't remember. Hmm. So there's no reason for me to not ninja backpack. It's basically draw three, gain an AP. So that's pretty powerful. Guess I could shuriken into shuriken if I want to. Can we talk about how much better green is? <laughs> can we can we talk about this? This is not okay. I have like infinite AP. I could just walk up and smack this creature. What are they gonna do? Actually busted. Like think about the struggle of moving with the red cards. Like how unfair was that? I could have killed that other creature. I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna hold more cards. <laughs> that was my big deciding factor. I just wanted to do some damage. So I could do something like... Although, knowing that Shuriken summoned Shuriken, I guess I could have loaded more Shuriken into the deck for Ninja Backpack. Oh yeah, I have another Ninja Backpack, because life is fair. Yeah, that's fair. What an absolutely stupid card. I mean, look at this nonsense. Goodbye. Why even take healing at this point? Uh... I think you are in trouble. But how do I reach you in a way that would be beneficial to me is the question. I mean, I'm definitely shoulder bashing. Totally fair. Um. Oh, that's actually Shuriken just draws by itself. Oh, that's right. If I don't have Shuriken, oh, so we're putting Shuriken next time in the deck. We're just maxing it. And look at this. I can even teleport over here. Like, look how unfair this is. Like, they're in my world now, chat. I could do whatever I want with green. Uh. I. I think I could kill almost everything in one more hit? Yeah, I think it's actually over next turn. There's nothing they could do. That's a GG to them. It doesn't matter what they do. There is no next turn for them. Boomerang says goodbye. Look how OP this is, Chan. Why ever play with red cards? <laughs> <laughs> That's a PSA for you, chat. Just just don't play with red cards. Did you see how much of a struggle that other challenge was? And look at this nonsense. Free. So I'm if it 1 AP with this. And I hit a new target, I can blink strike. So technically I can blink strike this entire room if I play this correctly. So let's try to play this correctly. So I think the right thing to do would be to move over. The question is, do I go for Shuriken or Hookshot here? Hmm.
I'm trying to think it. I've never had to think so far ahead before with the deck. Let me think about this. So the bonus of Zip Strike is I could zip through literally everything. The problem is they're not quite lined up for me. So if I end up on the left side, like let, let's say I end up at the top of where this white line is and I'm between the orange chakra user and the scroll, I could Zip Strike one at a time and end up near the uh, left side if I want to. So I have a lot of mobility, but I'm thinking of doing the same thing with Blink Strike. So either way, I essentially have the same ability. But what I think I want to do is... I think I'm going to draw a card. And move slightly closer. Oh, that's an interesting card to draw. So that can just one shot anything that I needed to. I can hook shot to you. If I use one AP, the question is will this reach? No, it won't. I'm thinking ahead, chat. <laughs> I'm trying to think about it. I guess I could... So if I melee that one, Zip Strike... Actually, maybe this will work. Hold on. I've never used this before, so apologies if this is about to be a big misplay. So if I melee you, I'm going to be at 1 AP, right? Uh-huh. So th okay, this should work then. The double strike is disgusting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look how unfair this is. Oh my gosh, chat, stop. <laughs> Why even play other cards? Yeah, honest question, why would I ever play other cards? Look at this. I'm just straight bullying the whole room. Idiots. Jeez. Well, they're all in like ultra kill range. And you're dead. And I get to go again, which is hilarious. So I could just go up and kill the scroll user if I want to. I guess I should. Yeah, let's get rid of you. <laughs> Green is so stupid. Why did I take healing again, chat? Remind me. <laughs> I, I forgot it's never their turn. Uh, they might have all killed themselves just now. Just a bold play on their behalf. So sadly, I don't have any more initiative granters, but like, does it matter anymore? I'm gonna just do stuff like this and they're basically done. There's gotta be some draw- There's no drawback! It's just better. Listen, chat, chat, there are things such as tiers. This, the tier of these cards was like on a completely different scale compared to the red cards. I think we could all agree that the other Raider deck I played, not even remotely close to the same tier as this. Like actually stupid busted. And the worst part is, like, I could still do anything, and there's... I just don't think they could do anything. So, if I manage to go to the far right here, will that benefit me? Not really. I could just zip. I didn't even gain flight yet. That, I mean, that's a free teleport. Sure. So I'm already out of range, and then I could move back in range. So now I have a free teleport. So I'm gonna hope that they, okay. Oh. Wait, why did the other guy move? Wait, what, wait. Why did the other guy move, but then the other guy struck the crossbow? I don't think I'm understanding that correctly. Oh, we have Pounce, AKA the Insta-Delete. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna just walk forward and just hit you, right? What are you gonna do about that? Fool. 
Like, oh no, I'll never be able to reach him. Oh wait, I have free teleport. <laughs> this is Meta Knight tier. Oh, I was like, listen chat, I, I picked green cards at the beginning of the game and they rewarded me. Oh, look at that chat. I technically can't target. Wouldn't it be a shame if I had an ability that just ignored all that? Wouldn't that just be an absolute shame chat if I could just hit them anyway? Let me think, if I go here... What's the play? How do I hit the most targets? That's what I'm thinking about. So if I hook shot, presumably I stop there. Zip. Zip left. Zip down. No, that's not good enough. Hmm. Them having stealth is kind of annoying. I could do... I hit that target, go up. No, I need one more. Oh, I, I actually need an AP Graner. Oh. Oh, this one just lets me get a free usage anyway. Oh, well, that's hilarious. I don't know why that's a thing. See, if I reveal the green creature, I can kill him. I'm pretty sure it is straight up. If they ever line up, Barrage is basically an insta-kill. Barrage is not bad. I like doing a 3 damage targeted shot. It's not bad. So here are my options. I need to end in a way that's very inconvenient for them. So where do I have to end my turn to annoy them is the question. I think they're positioned in a way that I can't do that. So unless I draw two cards with Draw the Vault. But I don't have anything that... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to get rid of my... I forgot to add in my discard cards. I got so excited by the other cards. There's something I can discard cards for more AP. Which would mean that I could turn my Draw the Vault into a free draw too. Oops. We'll fix that if we do this again. The question is more, how OP do I want this to be? I think I might actually wait for them to do something. Yeah, we're just going to sit here draw five. I might draw the, the thing I'm looking for. Oh. I kind of did. Yeah, I, I actually did. That's so sad. How did I draw the thing that I wanted? I wanted the boomerang to kill the uh, green ghost, and I just drew it. Because life is unfair. And then I got free AP. So it's like, I basically drew five cards for free. So I could hookshot, hookshot, hookshot. I could instantly do 10 damage and kill anything now that I have flight with Aerial Ace. So the, the green ghost, which is the problem, is dead now. I'm just thinking about how I want to do this. Do I want to hookshot and then do it? Hmm. I think I move... Yeah, let's just use the hookshot, because it's funny. So we now have two targets revealed. Hmm. I have free flight, which will put me in range. So if I zap, dash, will that do what I needed to do? Zap, dash, not quite. It's like a little shy. I do very early ace to instantly delete the enemy, but then that ends flight. Hmm. I actually have to make a decision here. Do I just go for anything fancy? Sadly, okay, so here's what I learned. I need more shuriken. <laughs> I'm going five shuriken next time. The fact that it's a basically pays for itself draws one means that it's an ultimate draw engine for me. A ninja backpack is not a bad backup. If I play it one more time, I think then I could just get free AP every time I come across it. Um, like three damage in an area. So the question is, I could do that, but that won't be enough damage because I'm not able to target them directly. Hmm. Questions, questions, questions. So, like... 
Wait, what? Wait, hold on a second. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Are you telling me Boomerang is so OP that it ignores stealth? <laughs> I didn't need to hit them at all. I could have just Boomerang from the beginning. Chat, I thought there was some semblance of fairness in the deck. I didn't realize I didn't even have to aim at anything. I just needed one visible target, so I could have killed him. I didn't realize it worked like that, but that's good to know for later. <laughs> it's so stupid. I'm gonna draw two cards, and then I can just aerial ace kill the other guy if I want to. So I could do this to delete all the ghosts. Then aerial ace if I want to. Oh, because I'm not lined up, I can't kill the other ghost. Oh, if I had positioned that better, that would have worked. <sighs> if only I knew. I mean, I probably want to draw cards. The question is, how do I want to draw the cards? I'm probably okay with this. So now I can teleport if I want to. I might get what I'm looking for here. <laughs> Attack target unit and gain AP. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Chad. Like, that's just, that's just actually cruel. <laughs> did I really get an out? How did I draw another out card? How did I get out of this? I have a free teleport. I can still do whatever I want here. Oh my gosh, disgusting. So I could delete this. I mean, I could just choose to take the one damage. You know what, chat? I'm going to choose to take the one damage. I don't think I have to, but we'll we'll make the curio do something. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. I might take two damage here. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It's already over. Um, sure, I'll ninja backpack again. So we are going to probably just come in and melee him twice. There we go. We're going to make the curio do work, chat. I might as well just factor that into my decision. So I'm going to do something like this just to annoy the enemy. Are you injured from before? You are. All right, so I'm going to save my cards. Absolutely disgusting. So if I get close enough, I could actually uh, barrage. But I need to do kind of like a hook shot kind of thing into it, I think, for it to work. The kunai will just let me get into a safe position. Pounce is not good right now. I think I just need to get in... Oh, there's green ghosts there. Oh, I wish I had the boomerang. Hmm. So, like, I could do this to hit them, for example. If I could get here, I'm going to hit two targets. How do I get there with the least amount of AP used, is the question. Or do I just wait a turn? Hmm. Maybe I just wait a turn. I don't want to go too quickly into this, because this seems like an annoying scenario. Hmm. We have extra AP if I get into melee range, so it basically just pays for itself. Uh... See, if I could get one more enemy close enough... If I get the three hit with Barrage, it can basically insta-kill anything. Maybe the right play here is to Kunai... into the Shock Jump? Where do I go for the Barrage? Eh, let's just Shock Jump. That sounds more fun. I got rid of their stealth, so I have 1 AP, which is not good enough to damage right now. 
So I could do three damage to you now. I could just driving slice to get the AP back. So no downside. I might as well just burn it. So now I'll potentially draw a card if I use one more effect. That also improved the damage of pounds. So I could do something like that into this. But then I'll put myself... Uh, see, that's not worth it. If the green ghost wasn't there, I would have gone for that. So I think what I do is... I think we just go to rack up damage here. And then let's just go to back to our original location because it was safe. There we go. So I should draw a card. And I already did like a million damage. So at this point, it's just clean up. Pounce can one shot any of the ghosts, I think, at this point. So he's going to escape back there because he revealed where he's going to teleport. Which doesn't really matter because he can't do anything to us. Ooh, they put themselves in an interesting spot. So I need to kill the green ghost, so hopefully we draw decently here. Uh, Pounce is okay. So I can just kill the other guy if I want to. Hmm... Do I take the damage is the question I'm asking myself now. I think I might just choose to opt to take the damage. I don't think I could do three fast enough. Hmm. Tempting to kill him with pounds. That is very tempting. Ooh, tough choices. So I'm actually looking for card draw now. So sadly, I ran out of card draw, but that's fine. So if I pounce here, pounce for two. Oh. I wish Kunai... Okay, so the only downside, Kunai does not give AP. If it did, this would have been the perfect card. Because Shuriken does. Hook doesn't, but it basically gives so much more range than Kunai. Hmm. That's a tough call. I need to basically move over two, so maybe the right play is... If I use Barrage into Kunai... The problem is this guy. This is the only thing stopping me from doing what I want, so maybe I just focus on killing him then? And just take the damage now? Yeah, let, let's kill you now, because you seem way more annoying to deal with than the other enemies, so I'm just gonna kill you now. I'll take the damage here. Disease is fine. We're not going to heal for a little bit. Uh, wow. That was kind of one of the best cards I could have drawn in this scenario. You know what? Okay. I got to be careful not to end the fight too early because... Oh, I didn't mean to walk backwards there. That really sucked. Actually, that really sucked. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. I took a lot of damage there. So unfortunately what happened there is I was hovering the cards and I cancelled by accident so it took a lot of damage. I should still be fine. It's just kind of annoying that that happened. Because now I'm like really far away and it happened twice. That would really suck to have to redo it just due to misinput. So here's what I was talking about, chat. I would love if movement required a confirm. I would have loved if movement had a confirm, just so that I don't do that by accident when I'm trying to quickly check between, for example, all these different card types. Like, it confirms for the cards, but not your movement, which is unfortunate. Um, If I move here, you're still pretty healthy. Disease means I'm at disease at this rate means I'm probably not gonna heal, which is unfortunate. I 
think I go over here and we gain flight. Uh, I'm going to keep Shuriken Storm for later. So maybe I'll do this for now. And let's annoy them a little bit. Just need to do a little bit of damage here. So the problem is that they got healed because I did that misinput, so now I'm off in my kill potential. That is really annoying, actually. Hmm. Unfortunate. I'm going to have to take a lot more damage here. So I can pounce, kill you. Oh, no, I can't. Not enough AP. Kill you with barrage, so I think I will. Alright, so we need to do a lot of damage here. Hmm. So the problem is I'm too close. So I could back up slightly into a pounce. So that'd be three damage. Or I could do four damage with this. I think I need to do that, actually. So I'm going to back up into... Poly hitter. Maybe this will work? How long does... How far is Pounce's range? So I could back up two spaces? Okay, that should work. So unfortunately, I, I took a lot of damage due to one miss input. Uh, well, technically two miss inputs. Really, really unfortunate. So I'm going to do this to get AP, and more importantly, wound the enemy a little bit. Because being in a damage war with this specific enemy is awful. And now I should win. Kind of annoying that that happened, but whatever. I'm gonna make sure disease goes away. Oh no, that was the whole challenge. Oh, never mind. Okay, so that's not too bad then. Sure, let's return to our adventurer's town. Okay, never mind. I don't even have. Okay, so now knowing that, I'm gonna get rid of healing altogether. <laughs> See, this this is where like now we understand how it works. Let's go optimize the deck even more because that's fair. So what did what did we do wrong last time? Uh, bombing jump is out. I don't think I care about that card. Uh, we need more shuriken. That card was super OP. Do I not have more shuriken? Oh no, they're there. I right, so I have one too many cards. I'm going to get rid of... What was not useful? I never drew Keen Dash in a way that helped me. That was kind of unfortunate. Shine Spark was okay. Aerial Ace is like 100% needed. That was so good. Blink Strike is okay. We did not troll our Adrenalines that much, which was kind of sad. Hmm. I could go down one ninja backpack. Wherever it is in this list. And I could go down maybe one shock jump in order to get the one where I dump a card. Yeah, I want one jettison. I think that's okay. So Shuriken kind of draws cards, so to the vault is not as important. I might get another... And another one of those, and actually, you know what? I take, I changed my mind. I want one more to the vault. I think that's probably fine. And then we're going to change our curio. We're going to do... Is there something that draws me more cards? <laughs> At the start of turn, draw a card. Chat. I think we, think, think we found my uh, permanent rune. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Why didn't you select that? Hello? Game. Saw you do that. So anyway, more draw power equals OP. So putting in a couple of AP boosters, I think is the right call. Shuriken's basically free AP. You know what? Actually, I'll get rid of one jettison and put another ninja backpack, because that's also kind of free AP. That should be fine. I don't need like a ton of draw power, so getting rid of one to the vault because I have strider gloves is probably also fine. Since we basically every card in our deck dashes, jumps, zips, or teleports. So 
Not really all that worried. Enter the arena. Oh, there's a melee arena? Hmm. Let's see how hard this is, chat. So we already drew our extra card. Hmm. I... Oh, I did the same thing again. I hate that so much, chat. I mean, I don't think they could really do anything to me from here, which is nice. Hmm. I am going to... Probably just do this then. Yeah, that's fine. Wait a minute. Wait, just... Wait a minute. Did that do what I think it just did? Every movement goes towards the draw? <laughs> Not even card movement? <laughs> That's so, that's so broken! Wait a minute! Wait, why wouldn't I put this in every deck? Just moving equals card draw? How is that fair? Wow, this is the best curio in the game. I could just draw cards by moving? I don't even need cards? Holy... Actually busted. Stupid busted chat. Uh, I guess I could just fling to you. Gain AP because life is unfair. Chan, I would like you to witness how many cards I have. So even just walking around between... That's so unfair. I took damage on purpose. We need to give a handicap. But just walking around the dungeon in general means I always draw a card. This is the most one of the most powerful curios I've ever seen. I didn't realize it was just movement. I thought it had to be at least card movement. Holy. Alright, uh, so I could go on a killing spree with King Dash now. Hmm. Sadly, I'm not in a good position for that. I want a shuriken storm so bad, but I'm not, I'm not seeing a good use for it yet. So if I shuriken, if I dash here, no, that doesn't work. I think he'll, I'll take damage if I melee him. So I just need to do one damage, I think, right? Hmm. Oh, I could just shuriken the barrel. Actually, I'm kind of okay with that. Let's shuriken the barrel, and then I can teleport in a better position here. That puts me in a very good position to kill one of the other targets. I just have so many different moves I could be doing. Hmm, and if I move over one, I could do four damage to kill everything else. That's kind of sick. Yeah, let's do that. So it took a little damage there. That's fine. Oh, wait. The other target didn't die. I thought it said all of his health disappeared. That's kind of annoying, actually. It doesn't change my plan. It just more annoys me than anything else. Uh, let's throw a shuriken in general. So that way I can move over here. So I think if I rain down, I'll be able to kill at least one target. Actually, I'm going to get a poly hit here, so they're all dead. So all I have to do is shuriken here and I win. But sadly, I'm going to take damage. I didn't realize that applied to range attacks, but now I know, I guess. There we go. Rain down's time to shine. Look how unfair this one is. GG to the room. So many cards built up. Hmm. So I would really prefer to get into a good teleporting position here. This could go very badly for me. 
Let's get let's just get free AP and even more options. So if I Shuriken Storm, I could potentially get up to two AP here. Is there somewhere I could teleport that would help me? So I could do something like move right to the one, right one, then use a hook shot. Then I could Shuriken Storm for free damage. So basically, I got into the right position instantly. If I have a Boomerang, it's over, but I don't have another draw spell, sadly. I could damage them just a little more. Because the uh, Keen Dash, I could try to set them up in a way that it, this kills. I don't think I have another AoE. We somehow didn't draw any of our AoE, which is kind of sad. Okay, so if I Shine Spark through, I just need to be able to hit the other target once for some damage. I think I can live with that. And that leaves me one option to get away from damage. I guess that's fine. Let's shine spark over here. Yeah, if I had like one AoE, I would have killed him there. But I think killing three out of five in one turn is pretty good. I still have like a million cards in my hand. Them doing that is not as useful as they think it is. Interesting, the card draw can increase me past my max hand size. Okay, we're going to hold on to the, uh, the boomerang for the next time. So I think the right play here is to just dunk them. So I think I shine sharp dash. So I do damage. Then I do damage again. Hmm. Wound them a bit more, get more AP. I could throw the boomerang and end the fight, but I would like to save it if I can. It shines spark through them. guaranteed dead. The other one I don't think will injure me at all. I think the correct play is to energy slice into melee. Into shine spark. Into kunai for damage. Actually, he's going to protect himself. Let's just move forward then. Yeah, that was easy. So I got another ninja backpack. So I might as well just use it to draw more cards. So I'm going to. We get another curio. Ooh, I don't recognize that other enemy type in the middle. That's interesting. Hmm. Up one would let me hit two targets. That's not enough for rain down to be useful. I could... Get rid of that guy's health bar instantly. Maybe that's worth it? I could shuriken first for more AP. Maybe that's the play. Oh, you know what I could do? I could shuriken and teleport forward. Then I could shuriken again. His life is unfair. I'm not even gonna... Oh, do I have to teleport? 
Oh no, I can teleport in place. So now I have 5 AP. Oh my gosh, actually busted. So that'll kill one of his health bars. So I think this is just GG. Do I even bother going? You know what? I'll, I'll send a message. My hand is so disgusting. So this just does four damage. So if I go left one, up one, it's over. Goodbye. What a card. What an absolute card, chat. Oh, is that is that three AP gainers in my hand that I see? Holy. Oh, oh, oh. oh chat. It's party time. Oh my gosh, is that is that seven AP just sitting in my hand? Oh man, if I had anything that drew cards. How do I not have anything that draws cards? If I had grit, if I took damage, I could make that draw cards. Oh, wait, the other guy injures me whenever I hit him. Ooh, that's actually a problem. I don't have burst damage. Wait a minute. Is he a hard counter to me? How much damage is he doing right now? One damage per hit and he's got seven HP. Oh, no, I need something that bursts him. Wait, that's a problem. Oh, that's actually really annoying. Oh, the misplay actually mattered. Like, I can hit him with this, but that doesn't solve my problem. Oh, wait, no, I have Aerial Ace. Never mind. Problem solved. Okay. Never mind. It, it's still party time. Uh, but the question is, how do we party time? So we need to unstealth at least one of these targets. So I'm thinking we're going to AP up. And then we're going to go even further beyond. We're going to get literally double turns. And then I'm going to gain Flight. So now I have the ability to delete the Retaliate monster. And if I move slightly closer... I damage you there. I just wish I had a slightly different set of abilities. Let me think about this. I think I want to do something like move up one into dash let's see if this works all right so we didn't hit each other which is interesting now I can Aerial Ace kill you. And because I one-shot him, I didn't take damage. Very interesting. Uh, do I have enough damage to deal with this guy? I don't think I do. So I could do this. And that will let me multi-hit again, interestingly. So I could do f two, four, and then kill that guy off if I need to. Hmm. Maybe that's what I do. His keen dash will not be strong enough, I think. Two, four. It'll cost me one. I don't, have, I don't have enough damage to kill him. That's so sad. Maybe I just retreat after this? I mean, this is definitely the right play. Shock dump here. Big play. The question is more, do I play it? How safe do I play it? I wish I just had one more damage. So I could kill him and he's no longer a problem. I actually need... Oh, I can multi-hit this. Ooh, I didn't even think about that line. Sure, I mean, there's no downside to this. So that's a absolute free kill. And then I can come back here and kill the other one as well. Wow. That was... That was a turn. 
You're gonna spawn fish bait? Oh, I got really bad news for you. We're gonna move up to, and even if he spawns it here, I think he's dead no matter what. As I'm just going to king zip through this. GG. So that was extremely well played at the end. We had nothing but kunai. Kunai is definitely the worst of the draws. The hook shot is actually pretty useful. Kunai, not so much. If it did one more damage or it had like a... Some kind of effect on it, it would have been nice. Well, it's just kind of underwhelming. Anyway, that was an easy... I mean, we haven't even gotten to the draft por tournament portion, but I I'm happy. So we smoked that challenge. I still don't have Long Fang. We'll have to see how to find that later. We'll try the draft arena at some point. So what's this? Test your metal in the summon theme gauntlet. Oh, no. Well, you know what? I might as well just open some packs. But before I do that... Is there anything I wanted to get rid of? We had brief for spite, but I I didn't draw it again. <laughs> so sad. Um. Is there anything I could have used instead that would have been useful? I think slice is just kind of okay. I could get rid of that in theory. Yeah, let's get rid of Driving Slice. I think maybe uh, Shock Jump is more useful. Because the, most of the time I just did that was just to move to be safe. Maybe discard a Bone Card and gain 1 AP, jump to target position. Nah, that's not good. So I think like none of the early ones are like super worth getting. Like, backstab is okay. Might just be worth getting another Shock Jump or Double Shot. Yeah, because sometimes we do just need a little bit of burst. So maybe we'll do that in case we get unlucky. Let's see how this feels. Just like a very small adjustment. So I, if the goal is to just try to clear it up here. I mean, I can open some packs, I guess. See how it goes from there. I doubt we'll get anything new. But having more of these is kind of nice. Oh boy, higher chance of Raider cards, chat. I'm ready to not use them. Oh, we got Raider cards. There's Long Fang. Hey, I could do that other challenge now. The most basic of spear techniques is to make good use of superior reach. Chad, I would just like to say, wow, Raider sucks. <laughs> just hold the line, place close to repel. They inflict one stun and then push infinitely in anybody that st steps on it. Okay. Well, I guess we could do one more challenge. It's kind of neat that we got the challenge card while we're here. I mean, Thunder Charge and Bolt Smite are good Raider cards, but hey, because we capped out on uh, red cards with Hurricane due to the other challenge, we're finally getting paid back for it. So... Okay, we need Long Fang, we need Meditation, which I haven't seen before, and I saw Life Exchange, but sadly, I dropped it. We'll have another chance of getting that later. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure at this point I've destroyed it. So what we're going to do... We're, we're going to mix things up just a little bit. Oh. Wait, just doing the arena do this. Around end, all sleep enemies are hit for six damage. Ooh. That is what we call, like, a build-defining curio. That's actually very interesting. It makes the okay-ish sleep cards actually super good. Six damage is not a low number by any stretch. That should one-shot basically everything that's not a boss. Uh, so what we're going to do, let's go duplicate Long Fang so we could do the other challenge, and then we're going to proceed with just stomping with Traveler. <laughs> I was going to say, it it's now just Oops All Traveler. Uh... I mean, it costs like nothing, and we made like 20,000 something shards. That's fine. Now we should be able to do the other challenge. Hi, right, what is this other challenge? Long Fang Mirror Master Fireball. This will be interesting. I've used basically none of these cards before. 
We're low on health. So I gotta clear in one turn. Copy a mimicry. Hmm. Okay, so I could use that to, like, fire a shot at something that's far away. What I'm not understanding is how to do that with only 3 AP. So if I walk forward twice and lunge, it's over. I don't think Long Feng counts as a shot. Is there something about the mimicry that would be useful? Let's learn. There's something I'm not understanding about the puzzle. Let's say, for now, it teleports like this. Oh, it copies. Okay, so then it could... Oh. Oh, I understand the puzzle. So I could... That's unfortunate. I understood the puzzle too late. So if I long fanged the box, then I could have sparked, and then I could have duplicated spark again and shot it through. Okay, it's fine. We'll 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 take the L on this one. I didn't understand what was different about them before. That to us. Bubba Ducks says they like this puzzle. I think that's all we're supposed to do. One. Actually, wait a minute. Hmm. Hold on, that's not enough AP though, because if I do Long Fang, Mirror Master, Fireball, Fireball, that's four. Actually, let me think about this for a moment then. Very, very interesting. Not enough AP. Is there something I'm not aware of with how it works? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Is this something like the. You know what? See, this isn't fair because I don't use a Mirror Master. Does this have... Okay. So let me think out loud. So the only thing I can think of that could save AP... Having used Mirror Master, I think, literally once prior to this puzzle. If it's like other games, it's not a two-way mirror. It's a one-way mirror. So if it has a hard back, then I know what the solution is. But the problem is... <laughs> I'm going to have to make an assumption on how this works. So now if I walk forward, if this counts as a wall, we're good. No. Yes, I'll take that. Whatever, good enough. <laughs> good enough. Heal one and gain immune one after taking lethal damage. Um, or you could just not die. <laughs> right, right, chat? I mean, or just, just, just don't. I'm gonna go with don't. Alright, so we can't do any of those other challenges. So anyway, back to uh, stomping these. So it's not what I thought it was, but we'll, we'll take it.
They were not kidding about the summons. Hmm. Well, I got really bad news for them. <laughs> I have a lot of potential damage I could do to this room. Hmm. Question is how to delete them. Could you shuriken to draw more shuriken? Not a terrible idea. Now the question is, if I move up four, does that help me? Mm, yes, kind of? But not really. I mean, it, I could rain down the clam, but that would be kind of pointless. I would love to teleport strike this entire room. It would be pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. So it might be worth not hitting the clam so I can blink strike. So I gotta burn two AP. So I guess with that, I'm going to... Oh! You don't count as a wall. I actually go through you. Interesting. Not what I thought was going to happen. Um... Hmm. That changes things. Where would this put me? Three, six up? It's not a great position. Oh, I was hoping it was going to stop me on this tree stump, because I had some things I wanted to do from there. So I guess there's no downside to me at least shurikening. And I don't think it matters if I teleport at all. I mean, I could just hit the clam here if I want for more. I could build up like nearly an eternity of AP. Let's get into melee range then. I could maybe still go around the world with Quick Strike, but we just gotta burn some AP. It's a shame they're not in quite a good position for Rain Down. It makes me a little sad. I guess the question is more how do I want to kill? So I I know if I so unfortunately this is not a game where if I'm at <laughs> I wish I could I wish I could burn these while at zero AP. That would have been amazing. So sadly, even if I teleport strike, I can't then regain four AP. Or else uh, green would be absolutely the most busted thing ever. So we need to burn more time. Question is how do I want to do it? I wanna blink strike this entire room for sure, because I think I can kill basically every clam. It's just more of a question of. I do something like a kill. Do something like this. Okay, so it does function the way I think it does. Hmm, how around the world do I want to go? I guess I could just leave some of the clams alive if I want to. Let's leave the bottom ones alive for now, then. We need to spread them out a little bit. So the other ones are in position if I want to rain down. Question is, do I want to do that? I don't think I do. So, okay. So for Shine Spark, Shine Spark goes through tree stumps, but Shuriken doesn't. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember that for later. So unfortunately, I also can't do what I wanted to do earlier, because I was thinking if I ended up between uh, the two jellyfish, I could have gotten a nice little Shuriken Storm for more AP. Uh, but I think what I'm gonna do is... 
Hmm. Guess I could move up and then just try to draw another shuriken out of the deck. I'd kill you with any of these. Sadly, like the objects are just like slightly not in the right positions. Like if I go down one and right one, for example, I could hit the other clam. It would let me hit a barrel, but I don't think that lets me target any other object in the room, which is unfortunate. Uh, sure, why not? Hmm. That would just put me in front of him, which is what I thought would happen. Not the worst thing ever. We have so many cards, I might as well just force the burn here. I'm going to force this to burn. So I want to melee you for sure. Question is more, how do I want to go about this? Do I hold Raiden down for another room? I'm going to do this for the AP and the one tile movement. Okay, yeah, that should be good. I don't have to technically kill the clams, so I was like, I thought about it a little bit. Rest of her hand wasn't that great. I don't know what you are. Strange Rift. Rift that will spawn monsters from the tower soon. Okay. Interesting. Why are they, like, in just the wrong spots for the rain down? I'm so sad. I feel like I'm getting trolled. So if I do this, I get 5 AP from this. So I think this is worth doing now. So now I could... Oh, I just... If they were just like one space apart, I would have been so good. <laughs> so unfortunate. Um, hmm. Okay, so that is the wall in front of me. I am thinking about what I want to do here. I could gain AP, hookshot. What would that do for me, though? So I have two different hookshots. If I go... There's a pillar in the middle, which stop... So unfortunately, the sage... I feel like the sage is just trolling me with Shuriken Storm. Normally, it's very good, but every single enemy has had a solid wall between them. It's so unfortunate. Uh, oh, challenge stage. I wish I knew what you were like before I went here. Um, so if I go left one, up one, or something of that nature, I could do four damage to the back row. I guess that's kind of worth doing. I'm looking at that correctly. It's just a shame that it doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't really line me up with any of the objects in the middle is the problem. I guess if I had not... No, no, it still wouldn't have mattered. Guess I'll go for it. Boomerang is actually kind of huge here. Hmm, that's what I'm talking about. When I'm about to check stats, I really hate when I do that. So I need to move over somehow. The problem is actually the thing in front of me. I don't, now that I lost an AP, I might have screwed myself. Because I hit him, which is what I was going to use for AP. That is so annoying, actually. I could gain flight now. 
would have hopefully we're gonna draw into the flight that we had normally. Just thinking about what this would do for us. I guess this is okay to do. I'm not happy about this, but I think I'm forced to. So I'm gonna get flight for later. Let's boomerang to get rid of most of these. Now I have the draw power. Oh, and I drew my draw card. Okay, we're good. You can regen shield all you want. I don't really care. I drew another boomerang. So now I just need to move in a way that I hit multiple targets. So I think the right thing to do would be to move up one. I'm going to be very careful about this so I can shirk and storm. That gets one of one of the bad bounces potentially for me. Am I missing something? Why does that not work? Does he have shield in my direction or something weird? He does have shield in my direction. Oh, that's so annoying. Um draw five. Interesting. Well, now I got Quiet Flutter. <laughs> That's what I was hoping to get earlier. Unfortunate. So if I do one more damage, I could potentially go on a Killing Spree. So I might have to wait a turn to do any significant damage to them. I probably don't care about Hookshot here. I could just Shine Spark past him and kill him. What would that do for me? Up to target position, then zip to another, like, two damage to zip units. Ooh. I do like Bat's Dive, I just don't need it right now. I think the shield actually stops me from doing what I want. That is kind of annoying. I think I'm just going to Shine Spark then. And set up for next turn. Did you seriously put the palisade between me and my target? Did that seriously just happen? What an what an actual troll. That became way more annoying than that should have been. So I can fly if I need to. Come over here. Then I can refly with this. So I have a lot of potential burst damage now. Yeah, let's do some significant damage here. The back row guy needs to go. They weren't against the wall. Keen Dash would have been really good. Um, could just kill him with double hook shot. But also Shuriken to just draw a card. Yeah, the shuriken to draw a card. And then we can maybe melee you or something. Or I could hook shot in and just get closer. Hmm. I definitely want to aerial ace at some point. Let's just kill you now. So the question is, is it 360 shield? Or shield facing upwards, okay. So I can see the shield on the other guy, which is not going to save him. Spoilers. Um, what I want to do is probably adrenaline. The question is, I should probably save some of this for the next room. If I do something like this, is this good enough? prefer not to use any of my additional cards. I'm going to move once to support a card draw. Because my curio will always make me draw. Oh. It's actually huge. 
Well, that's good setup for the next room. Just have five more cards. That's easy. Okay. Just out of range of what I wanted to do. That's so sad. Um. There's no downside to a shuriken storm. If I was one tile further and did one more damage, I would have been very happy, but that will not work. I mean, I could Adrenaline, but I'd like to save that for the next room. Good Barrage to kill. Prefer not to. So ideally here, I'll move. If I just had a... Is it worth doing this? I guess I could walk up. Do something like this. Walk up in Keen Dash now. Do melee damage there. Recharge the Curio because life is unfair. Now that is what I like to call card advantage. So I just need to get to the other side of the room. It's not terribly hard to do. I think we're just gonna adrenaline adrenaline. Or I could just see how things go and then decide from there. Maybe that's a better decision. Uh, I really don't like kunai, so I'm going to kunai to get closer. Or can I do something more interesting with my turn? Uh, prefer not to hook shot like that. Do some damage there. They're not in a good position. I could just straight up delete them with barrage. Hmm. Let's just use this for more AP. and delete you. Which I think is the right call. So that's one complete enemy type completely eliminated. I could shock jump over here, hit two targets. And I think I'm going to jettison some kunai. So that's probably my least used card. And then we're going to pump up adrenaline again, because why not? Let's go ahead and do it. We'll do some damage here. Can we recast again? That puts me in an okay position. Yeah. I was just thinking about if I wanted to use Keen Dash or not. I guess I could. Man, green is so unfair. Can we talk about this chat? Like, just actually busted? <laughs> we'll just call this green things? And I guess I could just choose to take the damage here. Yeah, that's fun. What a room clear. Oh, come on. That that was such a beautiful room clear. <laughs> oh, I could just recast it. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Uh, then we'll just do something like this because it's funny. Wow, I actually had enough cards to one turn that entire room. <laughs> now that was a puzzle. Come on, chat. That was so good. <laughs> I even killed their duplicates. What are you going to do, game? How are you going to stop this? Green is busted. 
<laughs> giving me some stupid raider cards. I want to learn them. Let's restock our hand real quick into another card draw. Thank you, Curio. So potentially this could be AP. Oh, it's no more AP. Um, hmm. Well, we should definitely quiet Flutter before we do anything else. This looks like a rain down room to me. Ooh, so we could just straight up kill them right now if we want to. That's what I was thinking. It did look like a rain down room to me. Um, yeah, why not? Just die. Uh, actually, there's no point to recasting it, so I'm not going to. Uh, I could pounce. Not a bad idea, honestly. Question is, which one is more useful to kill? X and sleep. Oh, we're getting rid of the sleeper. I guess I could have waited a little bit since I did a pounce, but it's fine. We got excited. Um, hmm. Will this work the way I want it to? Let's find out. No, it won't. That's fine. I'll still draw a million cards. Oh, you summon multiple golems. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. Well, I'm definitely going to hookshot this because that's free movement. Get rid of you. And I could precision to draw a card. I think I'd just prefer you to die. Yeah, if you weren't already injured, I would have done that. Yeah, let's just shoot a random object. Who cares? Oh, yeah. I think I can avoid one annoying enemy. We still drew a card off of the other effect. Just fine. In a weird way, this is just letting me draw more for the next room. So I'm kind of okay with this. Ninja Backpack did its job. Thank you, Ninja Backpack. I correctly counted cards without looking at my graveyard. So I still draw an extra card here. But her hand is not as sick as the other one. Um, I wish I had one more flight card. We have a couple cards that get flight. We didn't use a lot of our aerial aces. I think we still have like three left. And I think we have two quiet flutters. And there's 25 cards left. There's not a whole lot, to be honest with you. Um, hmm. I don't think there's anything that I can sadly poly hit as much as I want to. Yeah, I would really prefer if we had either one more AP booster or something else. I guess I could try to... I think that's gonna work though, because it puts me at the wrong spot. That is so annoying, actually. I I mean I definitely should pounce. The question is just what do I do from here?
We don't have anywhere near enough AP to do this. Oh, I can dash through. Oh, I didn't even think about that as an option, but that's very interesting. I could dash through, dash through, and then do something else. So I can dash through walls. Good to know. Hmm. I think I might as well as do this. So I don't think I'm going to get any benefit without rain down from having that other thing there. So I managed to kill one enemy, so it could have been worse. And we're going to draw at least one card due to Curio. But I, but I was going to zip to hit the fish bait. Oh, that doesn't work like that. You just can't use it at all. Oh, that is actually super brutal. That shuts me out completely. Huh. That is really, really bad for us. Because he went in my way. If he wasn't there, I would have been fine. I would walk forward, hit the fish, shine spark through, been safe. But uh, yeah, that kind of blows. So, just a little hit and run here. I'm kind of okay with them exploding here, to be honest with you. So I'm going to force a card draw here, which is not the end of the world. I mostly just need fish bait to go away, which now it has. The other guy's trying to go in on me. Nice. Thank you, Curio. Uh, let's do a lot of damage this turn. Let's sharp dash through this, I think. I forget how to tell which one's the real one, which is a bit unfortunate for me. That is not going to be useful. I could sharp dash back in. Wish you were not injured. Hmm. So I see there's ones with the blue outline. Maybe the blue outline is the original? Yeah, that, that has to be what it is. Uh, I don't think I want to dash. I just wish I had, like, one more flight move. This is so awkward. Hmm. Like, wasting Aerial Ace here would feel really bad. I think I just need to reach you without damage. Yeah, I don't care if he heals the fish bait. So oh, he sleeps at the end of his turn. I should have checked that. That's unfortunate. But we still drew a card. So I can heal... I'm almost at the point where multi-strike would be sick here. Yeah, we're just drawing like literally... I know I have better cards in the library. I need something that is not a heal move. So I, I could use this to reposition, but then I burn out, which is not what I want to do, obviously. Um... Hmm. Just really hoping to draw something more useful here. Uh... I didn't even get my... Shock jumps or anything? Oof. This is painful. Is there a way I can see what I've used? Yeah, I guess I can. Did I use all my shock jumps? I'm looking at my graveyard right now. How do I scroll it? I don't I don't know how to scroll it. Although apparently I can hold R2 to learn more information. But that's not what I'm looking for. I I'm really scared to hit up or down because I really don't want to move. Okay, so I, I think all my ninja backpacks might be done. So that's fine. I don't need those. I was more just curious if I used all three of my shock jumps. I used two, I think. So I could move and heal. What would that do for me? I 
just wish I had like a clean shot at this target. I mean, I guess if I'm going to move two anyway, I might as well just move over here and heal. The stun there kind of sucks, but my hand was kind of useless, to be honest. I'm hoping to get bailed, but lore is kind of annoying. So this room got out of control because I drew poorly, which is really unfortunate. Oh, oh, now I get client flutter. Seriously. Wow, that sucks so much. That sucks so much. Wow. Unfortunate. I'm probably going to lose the card here. Or not, actually. Lore is fine. X is fine. I can't believe I drew it now of all times. Also, these enemies are getting out of control. I might have lost just due to poor card draw. That makes me so sad. I actually had it. But then I just didn't draw the card I needed to finish the battle. So I'm about to get punished super hardcore here. So I can't even reach any enemies here anymore. So I'm just going to go through you just to escape. Um, I think I see where the real ones are, but it's like... Uh, it's going to be messy. See, if I could even just dash to here, I would have been fine, but I can't. So sad. So this dash only gets me so far. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do. I think I got screwed by the stun, but I don't think there's anything I could do other than hope they hit each other with ice. I mean, it is possible. Yeah. Now I'm getting all my quiet flutters. It's not what I want. Oh, there we go. That's one of the cards I need to make a comeback. So getting rid of you is going to be huge. So let's just get rid of you now. Bye. One of the big problems is resolved. Um... I'm going to choose to hide and draw some cards. We have 16 cards to make a comeback. They could die to ice because the game is very stupid. I'm not going to rule that out. I need to draw better, though. Is that enough, though? That's an interesting series of dashes I just picked up. So I think I need to do something like this and force the curio. I should have checked his hex range. That's actually really annoying. I don't think I could do what I need to do now. Well, there is our AP. The problem, as I said before, is... I don't remember how to tell which is the real one of the Mirror Masters. I have an, I have an okay shot at this. They're clogging my dash, which is pretty annoying. I could get extra AP. I basically just want to reach the mage in the middle at this point. I might be able to tank a lot of hex bombs to do that. I just wish it wasn't... F if it was three in a row, I would have been fine. Four is a very annoying number. Um, let's see if this works. So if I do this just to get out of here, that doesn't remove stealth, right? Good. Now I draw a card. Okay, I get to play the game. And I drew extra... Oh, there is the shock jump. There we go. This is how we can start cleaning up. I had a feeling I didn't use all of them. The question is, where should I use it? Okay, so we have extra AP. Could dash through these, because they got one HP.
So if I do this... It kills most of the clones, but I get damaged. If I do this, I don't kill the... I kill some of them. But then... Is there another position I could be that hits multiples? So that could hit those if I need to. There's not a way I can really... If I go here, I can hit two. Hmm. I have to think about this. It's actually very important I don't waste the shock jump. So the problem is, is I'm not sure which ones are the real ones. So if I do this, that would let me go... Here? And that would be three. So I think this is the right play as long as Hex doesn't... If the Hex cancels my jump, then I'm going to be very sad. The problem is not knowing. I'm hit with lack of information. So ideally here, if Hex does not actually Hex me, because I don't remember if this is just damage or Hex. If it actually Hexes me, I can't do this. If I can, if I am forced to Hex, I could do this and kind of clean up a little bit. It's not the worst thing ever. So because I'm not sure, is there anything I could just zip into and kill? Because Keen Dash will also clean up this battlefield a lot. I could just force another AP. I think there's no downside to this. And draw five cards. I think there's no downside to this. There is double boomerang. Double boomerang is actually huge. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling a little better. We have most of our crowd control now. Despite how absolutely heinous everything is near us, I think we can make a comeback. Okay. And I can recast again. Oh, and I can recast again no matter what here, so there's no reason to not do this. Oh, that shock jump was so huge, chat. Oh, that shock jump was so huge. Oh, the comeback. <laughs> I was like, I was going to throw the boomerang. Listen, if that didn't work, I could have moved uh, one more up and potentially thrown that boomerang. Get out of here. Oh, return to town. <laughs> that one was definitely the hardest one by far. No contest. I don't know how I would have done that with the other decks, to be honest. Oh, yeah, we got mediocre cards, whatever. Oh, what's the, uh, actually. We drew almost the entire deck there. That was kind of nice. Oh, new card, Quake. Inflict three damage to grounded enemies, or one damage to flying enemies. I mean, or you could just boomerang and just choose not to do that. I mean, that's probably better. Okay, so what's this one? Field control theme gauntlet. Um... I guess... Thank you for the crazy play. I mean, I don't know how this is really any different than what we just fought, but that's fine. I could just jump on you and just get free damage. Hmm. I could... Think about this. How much HP do you have? Six. I could... Pounce does reach from there. I could just one-shot him right now. Hmm. Is that worth doing? Eh, why not? We're just gonna verify. I didn't miscount. I did not miscount. Get that free AP. It's murder in time. <laughs> we, we, we see what happens when we leave that one alone. Uh, let's see. I think this is just where we say... Good day, sir.
So to get three AP, is it worth using? I feel like the answer is no. But I also need to get closer. Maybe... No, because he's just going to back up. That's really annoying. Um, I'm going to go over one and hope he moves stupidly. Not move stupidly. I definitely want to save Shock Jump. That was the MVP of the last area. So if I do Keen Dash... This also ends the run. Two hourglasses. So they're going to stop me from killing them unless I... Ooh, that's it. That's it. Thank you. Now Shuriken Storm actually gets to do something. I swear this is usually useful. Uh, the question is, I don't have the right movement abilities for this, I don't think. I want to save Quiet Flutter for a harder room, to be honest with you. It might, it might be a little greedy to do. But I have literally no other mobility other than this, which feels like a big waste to use. Uh, whatever. That's fine. These enemies don't really scare me that much. He brought himself back. I'd say I saw that one coming. Hmm. Okay, now I see why they're annoying. <laughs> right, chat? Like, now now it makes sense to me. It checks out. Uh, so we need to kill both of them then. I drew like a million cards because I was stalling. So that's not the worst thing ever. prefer to save the flutter for something else. We could go... Uh, it's not good enough. Please don't spawn another one. Okay, that's fine. Now we get to play the game. That's what I'm looking to do. So now I could just delete this enemy. Into Shuriken. Yeah, that's fine. So we still have a million cards in hand. I drew a boomerang, which is very interesting. But more importantly, I got Quiet Flutter, so I get free AP, and if we draw Aerial Strike, that's fine. So I'm going to do this, because that's just free mobility. Question is, how do we hit things? Is there any position I can multi-strike? There is. So if I go here, I can hit multiples. Hmm. This should be fun. That was pretty good damage.
So I drew another shuriken if I wanted. Probably want to... Put some almost a kill range. So let's let's do another. Let's do another shuriken storm here. So we're like slowly eliminating the problems. Tree stump will stop me. I could draw five. I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm just seeing if there's something more useful I could be doing. This guy's got full health. I could use it for initiative. I think I will. I actually don't want to draw another shuriken. As I'd like Ninja Backpack to give me a guaranteed AP at least once. So we're gonna do this just to gain initiative here. Because I don't think Keen Dash would have helped me, but I can go through here if I want to. So if I do one more damage... Before I do that... Oh, oh we can just throw Shuriken as is. Well, is that worth it? Uh, I'm going to say yes, actually. I want to make sure we kill as many of these as possible. I don't care about the worm. The demons have to go, though. So I can go here and do two damage. How much health do you have? You got five. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to rely on the draw five here if I want to kill them this turn. Let's see what we draw. If I get aerial ace, he dies. I did not get aerial ace. Um... Do I really want to boomerang him, though? Boomerang is one of our best AoEs. At this point, it's just greed. Like, how much do I think I could get away with? Uh... I guess I should just throw it. Oh, the other guy's not in range. Oh. Welcome, Kurt. Hmm. Not worth it, then. If I draw Aerial Ace, I'm going to be very upset. I'm going to save the heal, I think, for later. Question is, what do I want to do? Don't need to use Hookshot efficiently. This might be good enough. So he's unfortunately going to go Invincible here. So all I need to do now is get out of his range, which I already am. I don't know what he's doing, but he's nowhere near me. I'm not that worried. So I can't hit him yet. I'm just going to do something like this and see what they do. Uh, Bounce is really good. I should try to end the fight before it goes too long, though. So let, we'll use a pounce. Well, if I get another one, I'm going to hold on to it. And then I'm going to move potentially out of range. And now we kill. Oh, now I drew aerial ace. But fortunately, that's not what I care about. So we're just going to melee you to death. Oh. Wait a minute. Didn't I have three AP? Maybe I, maybe I miscounted. Retaliate two is a problem. Or we just draw the exact card that we need. No worries. It's just easy every time. Just draw Aerial Ace when you need it. And, uh, yeah, you basically win instantly. Although it could take a lot of damage here if I want to. Is it worth it? Hmm. That is the question. Uh, AP is not worth it. I wish I could just do like a little, if I could do exactly three damage. Sadly, I don't have the gunshot. If we had a, du a double draw or whatever it is, dual draw or whatever, I would have been able to do three and then I would have been able to kill. 
I could brief respite for a lot of HP, but... <sighs> it's going to result in a lot of damage to me. So I think he's Retaliate 2 on now, right? I think he does. So I can heal a little bit due to uh, Brief Respite. So uh, it's not awful. I think we're on the final room. Although it doesn't show me the map when I'm in combat, I noticed. I just wish I had something else to do, but I don't think I do. Because I'm going to be taking potentially six damage from that. That's a lot of damage to take. I don't think I could do that. Um. So if I shine spark through you, is there a way I could position that would be beneficial to me? Yes. Yes, there is. So unfortunately, we're about to take a lot of damage here, but I think I have to do this. So you need to die. The question is, do I even need to do that anymore? If I go here... Good boomerang both of these. I think it's the play. So one more AP and I can teleport strike if I need to. Or I could just move right now. Question is, what are you doing currently? Oh, you're just doing that. That's fine. I think the right play is to do this then. Because you don't hurt on this turn, right? Because you charm shot? Yeah. Let's do that then. Safety HP. Two HP might matter. I gain shock jump, which is interesting. I sadly drew enough HP to not get benefit from adrenaline. That's so sad. I was hoping we wouldn't draw that, but uh, I got punished. Uh, let's see. I need to do four damage. Question is how to do it. Because I definitely don't want to get hit by AoE, so I think they're just going to spin web this turn, right? Okay. So I could just straight up do four hits to this person then. Or I forgot to adrenaline. That was my bad. That's fine. Grit, grit is better. Grit's actually better. Now I can draw two cards. Much better. Now I draw two cards. I think that was the right play. Oh, now you give me double shot. Yeah, whatever. This is the card I was talking about before, Chan. So sad. Uh, Yep. Now we're drawing everything I want. Goodbye. That is such a useful draw one card. Oh, look, Chad, I could just draw five more cards now. So we're in a good position. I just got to clean it up a little. That was such a good shot. So even if there's more after this, our hand's looking really sick. So I'm really not that worried. Let's move over to... Then I'm going to shuriken, I think, to draw a random card. Another troll five, okay. Um, I mostly just need a way to damage multiple targets. So if I do this and then hook shot, I think this works as intended. Yeah, because I could recast all of that, of that if I want to.
Just need a damaging effect. I might be in trouble here, actually. Okay, we just gotta not take any more damage for the rest of the run. That's fine. So let's just go ahead and uh, draw all of our cards. Yeah, don't mind me. I got the power of choice on this final room. Okay, we should be fine. I lost my healing card, but we drew adrenaline, so it's pretty much over. Immune one. Oh, come on. No, that's like the only thing that stops me. That's so rude. That is so rude. Whatever. Actually rude. I know. Like, we had so many cards to go off. I would have been completely fine. Man, what an annoying turn of events. Yeah, I'm just thinking about it. So what is giving you immunity? Is it this thing? Oh, no, this is the thing that just zaps you. Oh, that's actually a big problem. Uh, That's actually a really big problem. What is that thing's range? That could just kill me instantly. I ran out of heal cards, by the way. I only put one in the deck. I wasn't expecting to get cheesed out in that other room for like eight damage. Uh, That is a big problem. How do I get closer without hitting anything? I mean, we're definitely going to have to do some flight. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But how do I then get rid of the rest of it? Yeah, we might save a quiet flutter to maybe not get targeted. We've seen Boomerang ignore stealth. So it's like, I'm not feeling really confident about this. I have enough to potentially one-shot everything on that side of the room. So I could jump here and then zip through just so I'm closer. So I just need to burn one more AP somehow. Oh, well, I mean, I guess that answers its own question. So let's draw more cards. Oh, there's Aerial Ace. Oh, that is... Chat, that is a hand. That is a hand to behold. So, does this work the way I think it does? No, I have to weaken them first. Okay, that's fair. I wanted to pounce, but I need to weaken them first. So if I had 2 AP, I could just kill them. I wish he didn't have invincibility. That makes me so sad. I have all these cards, but I can't do anything with them when they're like this. So sad. Is there a way I can get three objects? There is. So that's just free damage at this point. Is there a way over here that hits three? I don't think so. I have two shock jumps, so I might as well use one. That kills the other guy. Uh, let me think about this. Oh, he gets too much help. I could have boomeranged again. I was thinking about it. So I could do four damage to pop one of his forms if I need to. I would like to end my turn in stealth, though. Hmm. We have another quiet flutter. Do we have anything else that boosts AP? Not really. There's something that could teleport. Again, if they didn't have immunity, I would have been done. I would have just one-shot the room. I could burn Aerial Ace. And then just re-stealth. I really wish she didn't have immunity. That is just so annoying to me. Oh, 
Uh, so hopefully I could just draw some cards here without breaking cell. So that way we don't accidentally draw that later. And then I can probably end my turn like this. Oh yeah, I'm outside of the range of the attack. That's that's the important thing. So now we just need to make sure we kill what's his name? Because these guys can't reach me due to how they teleported, so I'm not really that scared of them. So I'm gonna go like just this guy specifically needs to die. Unambiguously needs to die this turn. Um Hmm. It's like, I have good abilities, but they're really spaced out at the moment, so it doesn't help me as much as I was hoping it would. Um, if I move down one, I could do two damage and two AP. Need him to die, though. Uh... I could break stealth to teleport and then kunai. Maybe that's okay? So now I'm 100% out of the range. I'm not worried about them at all. The question is... Oh, that's not going to do what I think it does. Uh, actually... Nope, I don't want to do that. <gasps> that was a misplay. Um... I miscounted AP by one. I thought I had enough to, to back up and pounce, but I didn't. Um. What are you doing this turn, for clarity? Oh, you're just gonna heal? I don't think I want to allow that if I can avoid that. I mean, what's the worst that happens if he gets another turn? That guy can't do anything. That guy definitely can't reach me, so I'm not worried. I guess I could just throw Kunai just to get rid of Kunai. If he heals, it doesn't matter. In fact, I want them to get closer. So I could boomerang him to take care of the other guy now. I need to. So that opens an option. I could just throw Kunai in general. Hmm. Boomerang is kind of one of those... I'm not sure if the next room is the last room or not. I think it might be. If it is, I'll boomerang. I'm going to keen dash. So that way I could go back and line up with this enemy. So we're going to get a guaranteed draw next turn. I can do three damage here if I want to. question is, do I need to? Okay, so Ninja Backpack is now AP. So I, I drew out exactly what I wanted. So I have one extra AP. Do I really want to boomerang for that much? Th these are the questions I'm asking myself right now. So I could teleport in and get a free damage strike. Uh, that's not going to kill. So we're missing our burst damage. We have all of our... We love large number attacks, but I'm missing like the raw damage that I need to kill this target. So I could zip dash. I mean, they're not going to kill me this turn because he has to teleport to do something. Could ounce for three and then just kill him. Save my other abilities for later. Maybe that's the right play. Back up a space. Did you just full screen teleport on me? That is so rude. Okay, so now the Tesla thing is gone. So now I can hook shot full screen. 
with no downside. So I'm going to buy. Okay, so now we just need to kill. Question is, how do we do it? Look shot into just two strikes. Ooh, living on the edge. Completed, nice. I'll need. Uh, do I want to change my cards? Actually, Shine Spark was pretty good. I was happy with Barrage. It's, again, sometimes we just need to do three damage. And I, I think that that proved it. If anything, I want more double sh shots in my deck. Five HP is exactly what we needed. One Brief Respite is probably fine. Our draw power was really good. Honestly, the only thing I might get rid of is maybe Kunai. Kunai kind of, hmm. It's a little suspect. I could get rid of Jettison. Uh, uh, it's a tough call. I feel like everything in the deck is kind of working right now. Arguably, I could get rid of one Blink Strike. It is useful, but it's more situational than I think the other abilities. So, given that I was complaining about damage, maybe I just try to get Double Shot for more damage? Because so I think being able to just do three burst damage has been... Mm -hmm proven to be more useful than the other abilities. And the ability to potentially do four and draw a card anyway was kind of nice. We still haven't done the draft tournaments, but hey, as long as we're doing challenges, we're fine. Headshot, fire shot that inflicts one, plus the plus line bonus of the shot travels exactly four tiles. See, this makes me question why red cards exist. <laughs> They're like, we could be as good as a rank five red card with a not really hard to achieve condition. Like, okay. Oh, there's another boomerang, but it became a gem for us. So I think we've finally recovered from doing the other challenges. I have enough uh, emeralds or whatever to do fine. So there's only one challenge we could do that's left. Effects themed gauntlet. I mean, are they even going to get a chance? Hookshot was decent. I don't think I'm going to touch that. I could technically get another Adrenaline. We saw when I'm low on health. We actually used the grit form of Adrenaline and it was busted. But I, I don't know. Is there anything I really feel like touching? I feel like this is a pretty good deck. I could probably beat the game with this. The Curio... Oh yeah, so Kirk, if you missed that earlier, any movement at all causes you to draw the Strider Glove. So just moving three times counts. Which, like, if you look at what it says, dash, jump, zip, or teleport, it doesn't say the word move. I don't know if that's a bug or if they just forgot to put that in the description, but, like, Strider Gloves is, like, super broken because of this. So, literally, every time I clear a room, I'm guaranteed to recharge the Curio. Like, that's so unfair. It's guaranteed every single time. And the other cards are not like that at all, so Strider Gloves just built different, I guess. actually busted hmm uh, I see what they mean about the effects oh that I kind of messed it up I didn't think about it like that okay so what we're gonna do is teleport throw some shuriken if that's what I want to do here that's fair I wasted the boomerang I misunderstood when they would explode that's fine we've we've learned uh... are they even doing anything other than moving no right might be okay let's uh, draw five cards and back up a tile. I mean, I just throw Shuriken and win here then? Okay. Now 
That's fun. Now we can play that a bit smarter. So if you note it, well, now you can't notice because I charge it, but yeah, we could charge it for free. So I get free Shuriken, which will burn through my deck pretty quickly. I think Shuriken is one of my new favorite cards. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but the fact that it is literally potentially just one AP and draw is pretty stupid. I'm sad we didn't get these until like midway through the run. Hmm. So I can't go down a space in order to take advantage of this. And they're just far enough apart that I can't do it with the other one. Hate it when that happens. Yeah, green, green is just like actually unfair on so many levels. Ew. I don't like this room at all. Uh gee, what do I do? Uh The mummy is the thing that I'm annoyed by. What do you do when you hit me? Five damage. I prefer if that didn't happen. Um I really just need to draw into what's it called? Boomerang. So I wasted my boomerang from before. Let's draw another shuriken. That was actually a beautiful, beautiful positioning. GG. Oh, rain down. You're so good. <laughs> Let no one ever doubt your power ever again. I think what I want to do here is dash in. Then I'm going to... Adrenaline. Then I'm going to dash. Do I have enough to do what I want is the question. We need to make sure he dies. Is it worth using Jettison or any of my other abilities? I feel like the answer is no. Okay, the big damage source is out of the room. I might take some damage here, but that's fine. We're going to get an ability to draw a card. I don't remember which one is the real one. Like, one glows, one doesn't. Is it the one that's not glowing? Can you just tell me, chat? Like, just I don't pay attention enough times to the sprites. Because I would like to actually just solve the puzzle here. It might be the one that doesn't glow. I don't remember. My short-term memory is terrible. Take a drink. The one without the outline? Thank you. I will not consider that a spoiler. I just forgot. <laughs> I'm just like... I'm like, I've seen it like five times. My brain is like, it doesn't want to handle it. Um... Hmm. Could shuriken into shuriken is that worth doing so i could do three damage now maybe this is fine i need to leave at least one shuriken behind so i don't get burned out on the other abilities so maybe i just hook shot finish i'll save jettison for later i'm gonna jettison the kunai if i draw them be real with you. Thank you, Chuck. So we just recharge the Curio again, because life is fair. So I have two rooms left. My draw was okay. And this is why I didn't use all the Shuriken. This right here, chat. Proof. So one AP, three cards. Uh, Now we're out of Shuriken, so there's no downside to this, I don't think. I really wish I drew into uh, Shock Jump. So we're going to see if we could draw it here. Or we draw another Ninja Backpack, which is unfortunate. I could just get rid of it at this point. I have Kunai that I don't care about, so I could make it pay for itself technically. Uh, we drew like a very a very utility based hand but that's not useful for us I could throw another shuriken to try to get it it's not the worst thing ever so I have a lot of AP I just need to draw something good 
that's okay. If I go right one, that's going to do a lot of damage to them. So if I go right one, it I need to do one damage to you and you die. Is there a downside to this? I don't think there is. So I just need to go... Boop. Move. Perish. Thank you, and Parameter. Hopefully you get some rest. Do I use the Quiet Flutter now or save it for the next area? That's what I'm thinking about. I need to get to the... Ugh, the, the tree stump is in the way. I need to get to the point where... Ooh, this will work, actually. So we gave them a wound. So if we could just get a little closer, we might be able to get the kill. I could backpack, because it costs nothing, I think, to do that. And then I could just literally get rid of Kunai, because they're kind of useless. Maybe that's the right play. Goodbye, Kunai. Yeah, let's just commit. You're already injured, right? And then I want to melee into flight. Into melee. Into more damage. I could take damage here. This is fine. Root's fine. We have fly. So I have the ability to teleport. I could kill you almost instantly now. So I could do something like... Hmm. I could fly teleport over here. Ooh, what do I want to do? So it does two damage. So if I can manage to do one more damage here, I guess this works. I think this will work. So we come here, kill you, recast. See, Blink Strike is extremely good. And again, it makes me wonder why the other <laughs> abilities exist. I mean, look at this nonsense. Like, okay, I'll just take the damage. Like, actual tomfoolery. So we have one last room. We still have 51 cards. We drew a boomerang, so I think it's basically over already. This boomerang is our strongest ability by far. Oh, look at that, chat. We're already off to an extremely unfair start. So we're just going to kill you instantly. Okay. Well, the question is, how do we kill the rest of the room? Hmm. What would open up more options? So I got Aerial Ace to delete an enemy. I'm just thinking about what the most sense would be. I guess it would make more sense to pounce here, because then if I use my other dash, I could kill based off of that. So I could just force myself to draw here. So I could do one, two, dan well, that's not worth it. Hmm. So I'm too close to get the ricochet, which is unfortunate. He's gonna play defensively on the first turn, which doesn't matter. It's more the turn after this that there are going to be a problem to me. So I could just melee draw a card. Is there a downside to this? I'm gonna go with no. 
I'm just gonna draw the cards. We draw any AP gainers. Oh, I got flight. It's over. Something's dying instantly. So this just gave me more boomerang targets, and I got flight. So plus one AP. So now I can just instantly teleport on any of them and kill them like this. Which as you can imagine, it's pretty unfair. So that's one problem down. Can't hit you that way. <laughs> I could aerial ace myself again if I want to. I need to just do point blank damage. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zip in to try to get into a better position. So I don't care if the summon dies or not. We just need to make sure we're in a better position over here, I think. Did do two damage. Hmm. I'm thinking about what's worth it. Aerial Ace is Fades Ace, a Hearts Ace of Clubs. Pretty much. So it's like one of those things where like I could Shine Spark through these to do two damage. I could do three damage and draw a card. I don't really need to draw a card. I could just go for the Siren kill here. I could also just Boomerang her. But I, I don't really want to get rooted. I'm just thinking about what I want to do. So... I don't do enough damage to kill with the Keen Dash yet. But unfortunately, if I could go like right here, I would have been really happy because I could have boomeranged into Shine Spark into probably big damage. So I'm just thinking about it. So I could go through here and that would leave me vulnerable. Hmm. I mean, I guess I might as well use Boomerang. Let, might as well use Boomerang, actually. Oh, we drew the AP? Oh my gosh, cheating. I'm actually cheating. Wow. If you want to understand why that was unfair, Oh, I'm like one space shy. Oh yeah, I can't get through that. That's actually really annoying. I didn't think about that until just now. Oh well, that's why we have dash. Goodbye. 10 damage. I like that aerial ace can make its own benefit there. Oh, you have to still kill the summons. Oh. Well chat, that's what we like to call unfortunate for him. Oh, there's another room. Hmm. Oh, that's okay. We drew Boomerang. Never mind. We're good. Okay. There we go. One last room. I mean, I'm still going to draw another card with Curio. We're not in a bad... But oh, we're in an amazing position now, actually. Ooh. That is going to be so nasty in a second. Uh... I don't think it's worth hookshotting. I think we just go for the boomerang here. This is so much damage. And more importantly, we just removed a golem from the spawn pool, which is really big. I gained flight again. Um, I suppose to do this for the AP. I don't know if I'm going to expend flight or not. I haven't decided. I really wish they were in a slightly better position for me to get an object with them, but they're like off by one. So sad. Uh, I could hook shot, move one. How much HP are you at? Three? Hmm. I want to make sure the top mage dies and then the other mage dies. The other ones I could kind of live with, they're very annoying, but I could probably outdraw them. The other enemies I don't think I can. So if I come over here... I 
could do three damage by just moving up one tile. Okay. Okay, two really big problem enemies just straight up gone. I don't really care what those enemies do. The ones on the left can't reach me. They're they're the least threatening thing. That that top mage though needs to go. So you need to be in a way where we could kill him this turn. Oh, I didn't get enough for Curio. That's interesting. Um, well, I get a recast. That doesn't help me enough. Oh, we need like we needed one power card here. So he's not gonna die is the problem. How vexing. What do I do with him? I can jump to get closer, take a little bit of damage. Come over here. Oh, flying costs AP. That's why. Oh. I misunderstood something earlier. Now I understand why I didn't have enough AP. That makes sense to me now. So. Oh, yeah, then I'm going to burn this ability. To get the AP. We're going to. This feels like such an odd choice, but I think this is the right play. I'm going to teleport to kill you instantly. And then I can teleport to heal. So I'm looking pretty good for winning this. I'm just saying, chat, I'm not really that worried. I got basically full HP and I just have to draw any projectiles. So I don't mind playing the stall war with this enemy at all. I drew literally single kunai. That is so depressing. Well, let's get that out of the deck, I guess. Hmm. to do three more damage. Can't quite do that much yet. You just king dash through them, I guess. Oh, hold on, chat. Kunai, Kunai putting in the work. There we go. I use Kunai appropriately. I'm still going to get hit here, I think, but it puts me out of range of the other one. That's fine. You did it, Kunai. You had one job. You did it. Now I get to draw a million cards. Huh. I'm just gonna let them come to me. I'm not even gonna move. I know. Good job, Kunai. You did it. Yeah, this is looking over. Uh, I could draw. No, at least greed draw. Why not, chat? Greed draw. Oh, a pounce? Oh, that's how. Oh, that looks like fun. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Hey, look at that chat. Barrage is like goodbye. And that's why we put in Barrage. Thank you, Barrage. You're the MVP. That was much easier. So we got more cards I don't want to get rid of. So I gotta be careful not to go to that one lady. Queen's Arrival, teleport to target position, flick three damage to enemies in a massive area. Oh, that sounds actually really fun. The price, swap the values of caster's current hit point with caster's current AP. You know what's really sad? <laughs> you know what's really sad? This is probably legitimately a healing card for a uh, raider. <laughs> They're at one AP all the time. I can <laughs> just, just heal two. Exhume one from the bottom, patience, exhume one from the bottom for each AP. Web jump, full dash, whatever. Yeah, that was all the challenges. So I says I did promise to do drafts, so we might as well as do it. But I like that the whole left side is down. So I guess we'll try. Actually, that reminds me. Did doing any of this? Oh, it does cycle this forward. Oops, I could have been checking earlier. The end of the round, all enemies suffering root are hit with one damage. That's okay. 
So at least we could get more of these out of the way while we're doing the arena. I should have been checking in between more of the challenges. That was a misplay on my part. But uh, yeah, we don't care about fishing because we don't care about shards. So I think at this point we just save. We haven't saved in a while officially. And then, uh... Sure, let's see how hard this is. I have an okay amount of attempts potentially for it. Oh no, this is the style draft I don't like. Oh no, Chad, I was just complaining about this. No. Oh, I'm so bad at this style draft. I was saying before, I'd rather open random boosters and go together. This is literally my weakest playstyle because I always go for the OP things and I never get the rest of the cards. Where at least with the boosters, I can make a decision looking at the whole pack and then go from there. Oh, this is my least favorite version of draft. Um, Charm Shot would be useful, but do I value Charm Shot over Shock Jump is the question. I think, I think we gotta go for the green cards here. Ooh, these were not good. Don't want mail. Ew, why is Maelstrom even in the deck? That's gross. Alright, unfortunately, I don't like any of these. I'm gonna take Volt, because we have a theme. False Promise. Bestow immune one and inflict five to target mob herself. Windbolt, Thorns. I mean, I could try to win with this. It's at least a new card. I could try to take the gamble. Ooh, Mirror Orb. <laughs> right, chat? Wait a minute, chat. Wait a minute, Mirror Orb. I think we got bailed out, chat. Thank you, Mirror Orb. Uh, I don't really like any of these abilities. Petrifies enemies that moves the target position. I mean, I could try to win with that. Tesla Call is really nice. Yeah, let's go with Tesla Claw. Inflict one damage to a large area with plus three damage at specific tiles. Ooh. I might just take that because it's new. Demolition. Inflict four damage to the target unit. If it, it explodes, inflicts four to all close range people. Okay. Okay, that's an interesting Raider card. Summon four Blast Stone. G Stone's mood generates a different effect when they are hit. Hmm. I mean, I feel like if I'm going off of what chat wants to see me use, it's probably going to be Axe Spin. I mean, this sounds like a Kirk card, <laughs> if I had to say. This one is interesting to me. Raider, it would be nice just to clean it up, but I'm not in a rush. Like, maybe I would use Blast Stones. Axe Spin, depending on what the shape of it is, could get put into my deck. And again, it makes me really wonder why Raider cards are here. So we have t we have six mobility cards. Chat saying Axe Spin, because I know Kirk wants Axe Spin, let's be real. So we get one more set of cards, I think? Grand Dynamo, I don't really want those. Wake is interesting. Harful Bless would be good for clearing it. Hmm. If I'm playing really safe, I should probably get Harmful Bless. We need more AoE. I have several uh, single target abilities with uh, Tesla Claw. Mirror Orb is kind of like that. False Promise is definitely one-on-one. -on -one. I think I'm just going to go safe here and get some healing. Shuriken, I don't really want by itself. I'll be able to library cards cast in the current turn. Selectite's fine. Prayer copy a random card is interesting. So I can see how many of these I have already. Apparently I have five prayers already. I definitely don't want provoke. <sighs> Unfortunate. Shuriken's not bad, but it's like... Why would I do that over a stalactite at this point? I don't think I would. Although I kind of like the, the chaos of the random card. Ah, let's go for chaos. Oh, interesting. It kept my curio. Hmm. 
But it didn't keep my my runes. Hmm. I wonder if the meta okay. Well, I mean, good thing I drew some traveler cards. I wasn't sure if it just blanked out our curio or not. So I mean, we at least have some good AoE if we need it. <sighs> like just slightly bad position. Upping a random card is fun. Vol is probably our most useless card. That's literally there if I'm in, like, ultra danger. That's about it. Mirror Orb is also kind of an auto win, to be honest with you. I think if I remember, Mirror Orb completely shuts down uh, the plant. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for that. I thought about it. That should probably be fine. Yeah, so the, the plant can never attack, if I remember correctly. So I could try to use Volt for its intended purpose, maybe. But no, see, it's still... Still kind of, eh. I mean, I guess I could do this. I don't know when else I would use Volt, to be honest with you. Okay, so they should just kind of defeat themselves after a while. There we go. I used Volt appropriately. I did it. So yeah, this Curio is just kind of OP because I just charge it by walking. So I can force myself to draw all my mobility cards. Yeah, that's or Axe Spin. Axe Spin eventually would be nice. Speaking of which... How do I... Oh, maybe the Diagonals are where we do 4 damage? Oh. I think I just do 4 damage now if I want to. Maybe. So I could basically just one-shot an enemy at some point. I could copy a card. Or if I want to do that yet. Let's move forward. And then decide where this takes us. I was gonna say, I remember the bee exploded from last time. But I feel like this turn went okay. I think it went okay. So then we can poison you. We don't care what you do this turn. And then we move left one to dodge the slime. Or it moved the slime. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. But hey, that's why we have AoE heal, I guess. Hmm. Since I don't have a lot of cards in my library, let's actually copy a random card now while we're able to. Okay, so it is the diagonals that does more damage. So sadly, the poison wasn't as useful. I mean, it weakened him a little. I guess it technically did something. Technically. And then I think we just clean up here with the Bless, and this should be GG. Yeah, having this AoE heal and do damage I think is exactly what we needed. Oh, there's Card Restore. Um... Interesting. I don't think I'm going to use it yet. What the heck is this room? What do these do again? Oh, it's it channels the golem. Okay, that's right. 
Um. Well, let's move in a bit, I guess. Well, that felt like a really convincing room. I don't know about you, chat. <laughs> just, yeah. Oh, look, look, I get to use Vault. Just kidding, it's so useless. I hate Vault so much, chat. Even though we draw it for free with Curio, which is, by the way, a way we can potentially draw the rest of our cards. Uh, I'm gonna use Vault here, because why not? Okay, so the cards in hand, we're just going to take advantage of later. I actually have no other cards to draw. So I think it would make sense to reset my green cards now. Or, or we get another bed. Maybe that's for healing. Probably for healing. So let's reset our cards there. Do we get a guaranteed draw? I don't need healing. Okay. So we drew Axe Spin again due to how we set up. I think at this point we just need to get some AoE, maybe? So I could purposely take damage to Hookshot into more damage here. Because doing this just heals me, which I don't super care about. Is there a better position for the Axe Spin? If I go up 2... Ooh, up 2 means double Axe Spin would just kill them. Hmm... Maybe that's the play? Although I see the clam in the corner, which I don't appreciate. Uh... You know what? Whatever. We'll just do this. Don't really care about healing here. We got rid of more of the annoying enemies. Super good, actually. Shock jump, you're so good. <laughs> okay, I, I feel no regrets taking shock jump, Chad. I would just like to state that. Whatever, we'll let the jellyfish hit me. I don't care. Oh, or it uses sleep rude. I mean, I guess that's fair. Not even a bother healing. Who cares? Go ahead, hit me. I don't care. Curioed another card. Nice. Shock jump is back. Oh, another card restore? Oh, now I just feel like I'm cheating. Okay, they really want to make sure you don't die. I mean, I was geared up to survive whatever nonsense they tried on me, to be fair. So we'll take some damage here. Who cares? Still in range of them, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> Volt useless as ever, but I mean, at least I, I guess technically it's our back pocket mobility skill. So I could poison you just because. Just to get it out of our hand. Yeah, let's just do that. Enjoy your immunity briefly. Ah, 
Now we drew other vault. Nice. Oh, I don't even have any obstacles to jump to? That's so stupid. I hate this ability. You're gonna... Oh, of course you're not gonna bomb it. That would have been useful. At least I can hop over my own traps, I guess. It's kinda neat. I guess. Think you could jump in this single wall? No, it wouldn't let me. I tried. It, it wasn't a target. Uh, let's go back and do this. I I wish. Because I, I wasn't getting a prompt anyway, if that was allowed. I guess I'll heal. Do I need a card cycle? Not really. Let me pick that up for the next room. Oh, this room is the last room. Whoops. Uh... Yeah, I wish it was an obstacle. If it was like a wall, I would have been really happy. But as is, it's just kind of okay. Well, we have two massive AoE heals, so I'm not really feeling super concerned. Uh, I would have loved to have been able to do anything here. Okay, if I move up one, what does that do for me? Not that much. Let's learn what these things do, because I've never fought them. Slime Tunes is a stranger mana found high in the wall so that it is able to wield stranger magic. Alright, so it just bumps me. What do you do? Oh, you summon enemies. Yeah, we gotta kill you. Oh, okay. I guess this wall counts. Good to know, I guess. Thank you. <sighs> okay, got rid of one of the summoners. We are going to get put to sleep, though, which is kind of annoying. I would have loved to have been able to use these card effects. Um, I guess I just go for melee, because I can't really escape him anyway. Well, oh, that did so much damage. I just need to get unfish baited. I'm begging you to unfish bait me. Let's move over here, get out of range. We have all the healing we need to survive. I just need to... Oh, seriously. Game is actually trolling me. Oh, you stunned your allies? Well, that was stupid of you. I mean, we'll take that. So heal three, deal one, done. Man, I just... Mmm. <laughs> Volt. <laughs> I need something other than Volt. I mean, I could poison you and kill you, but I'd really prefer to put that on the Archmage. Oh, man, it's like just not where I want to be. This is like... It's, it's so pointless. I move one space with it. <sighs> Such a bad card. Two... I don't want to get slime bump though. I could move up two and try to one shot the other guy. I guess that would be okay. Yeah. Oh, you split when you're killed. Oh, I guess it makes sense. You did have slime bump. Okay, now I can at least melee this. We got lucky there. Sort of lucky. And we need to stop all of the summoners. So we're going to melee you. I think I'm going to... Uh, how many things are targeting me this turn? You're going to try to melee me. You're not going to melee me. You are going to do some damage. Why don't I poison you then while I have the chance?
Oh, thank you, Mirror Orb. Alright, so that should deal with most of them. The question is... I think this is fine. Let's wound them a little bit first. It's like... I so badly want to set this up, but I don't think this will work the way I want it to. Maybe it will. I think this will work? But I don't know if it'll target the right enemy. Well, let's find out. Oh, you're immune to lore. Well, that's probably fine. Good to know now. Not useful at the moment. So I could lure the other people then. So you're dead in three, three turns no matter what I do, I think, because you have poison. Oh, you only have two poison. Uh, let's go... One... Two... Downwards? So he healed himself to save himself. That's fine. He just wasted his time there. The burn there is kind of annoying. I'd like to get rid of these cards and not take damage. I think this should be fine. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So we're good. I'll copy a random card, because why not? We got... Oh, by random, it's not even random in my deck. It is just purely random. Fire phase that does damage. Poly hit heals. Okay. I don't think it matters. Well, anyway, Mirror Orb, Tesla, broken as always. Glad we got more of our staples out, right, Chan? I can poison myself. That feels really terrible to do. Technically, it makes us immune briefly, so it has a purpose. I think this is GG, but I'm gonna disrespect poison him before we end it. Enjoy. Okay. That should be it. That was okay. Wait, did we get any money for that? We got our money back, I think? I think we got our money back. Alright, so before we do that... Let's make sure to go here first. Start a turn, draw three, charge, collect loot. Okay, interesting. So we've collected almost all the keepsakes. We just have... Actually, never mind. I forgot we didn't do tower yet. I was gonna say, we just had Badlands and I thought just Spires, but no, we got more to go. So let's finish off the Badlands, I guess. So I guess we'll do one more draft, and that might be it, depending on how long it takes. But I feel pretty happy. We cleared uh, an additional challenge. We did obviously all the challenges down here. Now, we didn't do any quests, so I think next time we play, we will draw try to do some quests. But I feel like this was a good showcase of what potentially you could also do when you're basically done with the game. Also, I notice I have like 47 emerald things. That's nice. So everything I had before we collected, which is nice. So I must be getting really close to owning all the cards then. But anyway, let's go into here. Actually, before I do that, let's save. So I'm still going to do the Traveler Heals Me, because it's just a free, free gimme. I mean, like, Mercy is really good, but Shock Jump broken. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mercy. 
think I just want shock jump more. It just makes me safer. Like one plus two da less damage in the tile. Animated executioner is tempting. Yeah, let's get a couple of those. Ooh, double shot for sure. Ooh, double shot or healing? Probably double shot. Summon a gravestone, summons grave zombie based on the number of cards in the graveyard. Interesting. Might go for that one just because it's so different. I apparently own one of these, but I've never used it, so... Might as well see what this is. Kunai is not great. Crosscut is okay. I think I need a healing ability. Let's get second wind in here. Now I just need some AoE or other abilities. Charm 4 is pretty powerful. Yeah, Puppeteer is very powerful. I think we'll get that. Plus, they could potentially end the encounter instantly. I prefer to get some green cards here. Apply Charm 5 to target mob. Ooh. Teleport, heal. Let's get that. We've never gotten that before then. Do so we have a lot of charm? You're, you're going to give me a chance of boomerang? Oh, Chad, I think I think we'll be okay. So I have double shot, boomerang, grave summons, a healing move, and like a bazillion charms. Yeah, I, th I think I'll be okay. So we could draw into our boomerang, double shock, or shock jump just by moving around. That feels that feels pretty good. Feels pretty good. I mean, just look at this, Chad. Boomerang proving why it exists. <laughs> we could just del we could just charm a mob if we want to. It's amazing. Wow. Well, anyway, traveler traveler proving you know it makes you question like why you even bother with other cards. <laughs> like it's just actually unfair on so many levels. Um, sure, why not? By the way, Chan, I'm guaranteed to draw a card due to Curio. Which is why I think this might be the best Curio for this. We just need a strong green card, and look at that. So unfair. No, the best part is, Chan, I'm guaranteed to draw another card. It, it plays itself. Like, come on. <laughs> this is so stupid. It's like, move it, like, if you weren't convinced green was one of the best colors, look at this nonsense. Free damage. Nice. I'll take a little damage there. That's why we got healing, chat. That's why we got healing. Um, could summon a gravestone. We'll do that soon, I think. Um, hmm. I have an okay amount of cards in my graveyard, but I think we could do better. So I could kill you. The question is, do I want to? <sighs> I don't have anything to shoot with the trick shot. Like, if I do that, I could have done something there. Hmm. I actually have to make a decision. I could charm five him. No, I can't actually, unless I move like literally right here, but I don't think that's worth it. Um, nowhere to get a multicast. We have two abilities that just straight up shut out the encounter. Blue Avenger we can use to bait out annoying summons towards the end of the run. We have one emergency heal, so if we get surrounded or if we want to stand in the corner, we can heal. The Retaliate is the big problem. So, will you move towards me? I think you will in a straight line. <sighs> Guess I could get rid of one of my charms and then summon... over here, maybe?
I don't think this will do what I want it to do, though. Let me do this side, then. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted him to do. He didn't move at all. Huh. Did not expect that, to be honest with you. Oh, didn't quite line up with anything there. It's so unfortunate. Um... I mean, good to know it's not, like, permanent or anything. I honestly wasn't sure. It's actually... That's actually fun. something like this. Get rid of the summoner a little bit. I think that was a good play. Do another card. I really wish she would just attack the other one. Kind of unfortunate that they're not seemingly doing anything. Um, I could just heal two now just to get out of my hand. I wish I had something that would damage them. So I could hit my ally to kill the other thing, but I don't think that benefits me. Uh, let's do... Wait, Boomerang just hits regardless? Man, Boomerang, you're so stupid. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Okay, that was useful. So I just need to end the turn like really quickly here or I'm gonna be in trouble. So I need to go like up to Boomerang? That might hit me, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that was unfortunate. so unfortunate um hmm I just blow my healing here so they don't count as an enemy for the healing which is fun so if I have to go a little further it's not the end of the world here uh let's reset our hand what the heck is this room That's technically the better play. using charm here. Let's stick you in the corner, maybe. Charm you. So it summons some allies, which is nice. Ooh, the zombies are doing good damage. So Gravestone, definitely something I want to keep for a while.
Now the question is, I guess it presumably just keeps summoning stuff, which is nice. Okay, they got rid of one of the threats. Got stun, which sucks. But I can charm what's near me, which might not be too bad. The one near me is unfortunately not one that's useful for me to do that on. Ooh, there we go. That's potentially huge. Of course, he hits the one with the shield. So the zombie's about to do some- oh, word, they teleport, that sucks. Lore is kind of helping me out a little bit here, or they just do that and that really sucks. Uh, I think we need to shock jump, for sure. slowly kill my quote-unquote ally. I think I should. That did some big damage. <laughs> Let's walk away from the enemies. So he's done. So I get one more charm turn. So I think this is fine then. And he killed the other thing that would have been a problem for me. So Gravestone kind of MVP, to be honest with you. Like, I just got to put it in a safe area and then it's fine. So I think at this point, you know, I'm going to hold it when I'm like basically out of cards. So let's get some healing. I'm going to get a free card. There's also healing in this room, which is fine. Uh, Probably want to do this just for damage. That unstealths one of the enemies. Can I hit anything else multiple times? No, but I can kill that guy outright. So sure. That's one, two less threats technically to take care of. I could just shoot you, shoot you. Which I think would probably make sense. Pew pew indeed. Drew a card. Uh, I don't even have to see you to target you with double shot, which is pretty unfair. So I'm just going to go ahead and just draw two cards. And this is why double shot is good. Here you go, Kirk. Here, <laughs> Witness the power, Kirk. Look at that card draw. What a card. It does everything I want it to. It has a target, a non-target. Four damage is a lot of damage. Two cards. Long distance. Why play Raider? Uh, I don't think I could charm these things, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to boomerang. So I'm going to hold Gravestone for later. And I could just bait him into coming towards me if he revives. Kind of okay with this. <laughs> right? I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of okay with that. Let's save some cards. So we have another point, presumably, to restore our cards, which I should probably do. But it means we gotta burn some before we use our gravestone. Free multi-use, sure. Hmm. Oh, 
I don't have like a good follow up with this one. Do this, but then no, that's not really gonna help me. I think I need to kill the bomber. I'm just thinking about what to do from here. If that's the real question. I mean, I could summon. You're gonna summon this turn, right? Yeah, I think you are. So I think if I charm you, that is the right play. And then summon here. Yeah, because then he summons an ally for me. Okay, there we go. I think that was the correct play. Now I can kill the bomber. Uh, I mean, I could just end this fight right now. Ooh, do I hold the charm for now? You know what? I think I just walk up charm next turn. I don't care if he throws me. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, you know what? Change the plan. Why don't you... I changed my mind. Just get shot. <clears throat> I looked at my hand and I'm like, actually, never mind. I changed my I changed my man. So I should be good here. I could just walk away at this point and I should just win. Hopefully his charm doesn't wear off. Got one charm turn left. Ooh, actually he's not gonna kill in time. Unless I assist. So I'm gonna have to shock jump here, I think, to make sure that the turn ends. There we go. I might as well just keep walking to regenerate cards. That's fine. Look at how many boomerangs I have for the next room. Disgusting. So we know the next room is our last. Do I need to do anything else? I have 10 potential cards. I'm at full health. I could force draw our remaining traveler cards. I think that's all I could do. So drawing the gravestones later is good. That's going to be our power finish. All I need to do now is clear out enough that gravestone. Oh, what the heck is this room? Well, <laughs> right, chat. Um, not what I was expecting, to be honest with you. Well, let's try to do some damage while we can. Hmm. Is there a way I can stand and get my triple shot off is the question I'm asking myself. I'm just so worried about these enemies back there. thinking about this. I guess it depends on what he splits into, if this is worth it. So I think I'm going to take some big damage here. I think I can stop some of that with this. Hopefully he doesn't float over it. Good. So he's gonna be my fun little decoy up there for a bit. So I got some good blockers.
I don't know what the enemy is doing up there, but that's fine. I don't I don't need to think too hard. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pollute the world with gravestones. I just need to make sure that they're Where actually where are you targeting? Targeting me again? Okay. Um hmm. I really need to be able to move somewhere else. Let me spawn another one here. That is a lot of gravestones. So I'm gonna move up here. Summon even more gravestones, which I'm tempted to do, but let's burn some cards first. Uh, jeez, where do I even go? I mean, it could heal two. That's probably about as good as it's gonna get for a while. Um, out of range to charm the one that I really need to kill, and the demon is immune. So I think I just walk over here for now? Oh, they get three strikes? That's kind of sick. So they killed a gravestone, which is a little annoying. But I think the gravestone mostly did their job. I wish I had more mobility, actually, but I think I ran out of them. This is actually really annoying, because I don't have any mobility skills. Um... Well, I think I just gotta move where I can. So we killed some of the enemies. They killed two enemies. Each gravestone killed at least one. And then they just fish faded one of my zombies. So I think the gravestone did about as good as it was ever gonna do with that, to be honest with you. Yeah, let's go ahead and boomerang this. So now the only threat left really is the mage and the other demon. But I have a lot of summons still. So I don't really care what they do. I guess it's a boomerang you, right? And then gunshot you. Ooh, out of range for the gunshot. Just double boomerang you because there's no more summons? I think I'm okay with that. And since we have a lot of cards in the graveyard, I guess I just tombstone again. So three summons is more than enough, I think, for me to win at this point. Although they just caged me in, which is sad. So there's only two enemies left. And even with stealth, I don't think it really matters here. It's feeling pretty over. Thank you, summons. Okay, if he tries leaving, I'm gonna put a charm glyph there. But I think it's over. I mean, he's just hosed, right? Like, what What can he do? Just end my turn? Who cares? <clears throat> hey, well, he's about to get bullied. Thank you, animated executioner. There we go. Got him, chat. Nice try. Wave your finger. That's why I like range charm, chat. Wave your finger. Nice try, though. So we did get some new cards out of the whole thing. So I would say that's successful. We won two drafts. I don't think we got anything I really immediately want to put in the deck, but hey, you know, we, we did technically complete more of the, the cards. Uh, forget, how do we see how many cards we did? Was it in guide? Might have been. Yeah, so like we're missing... Three blue cards, six red, 
How are we still missing green? Chad, how is that even possible? <laughs> Chad, I have an honest question for you. How have we not Max Traveler at this point? How are there still more cards? I I have like all of their endgame ones. Or actually, apparently I don't. Wow, green still is more? It is eight missing cards. So we have more Earth slash Warden than we do green. Purple I expect it to be missing a lot of, which is fine. We just started unlocking those. I can't believe we're missing... I'm like, listen, one or two green cards, I would have been like, okay, but we're missing five? That's crazy. Seven Raider cards, we're only missing five blue. Wow, I can't believe it, because we've been getting a lot of packs with them. Oh, I think the game is lagging a little bit, I'm noticing. That's unfortunate. So I think with that chat, I mean, I don't really want to do another one. I mean, I guess I'll go get a relic. So unfortunately, I did notice if you let the game run too long, going back and forth, I think it has some kind of like memory leak issue. Because if I close this and reopen, it's not going to jitter anymore. The started start discard a random card and heal one if a card was discarded. Ew. That's that's horrible. Are we sure this isn't a punishment, Curio? Why would I ever want to discard a Phantom card? And then even if I do discard a Phantom card, why would I discard it for just one healing? Okay, if that was like discard and get one AP, I would be like, okay, maybe. One health? You're out of your mind. <laughs> like, you have to think about it this way, chat. Like. The things you're going to be phantom carding are going to be like rank 3, rank 4, rank 5. Like, is 1 HP the same value as a full distance uh, charm or an erasure or an angelic champion? Hell no, it's not. But AP, that would have been interesting. Then you have to, then you're in like a rush. But then you can play more of your cards, technically. But healing 1, that, about, that does not feel well balanced. So I see there's stuff beyond here, so I'm assuming I gotta beat the game. Like, I could see that little bit of red, that little bit of green. So I think next time that we play, we're gonna go ahead and do some uh, quests to try to... I don't know if we'll beat all of them, but I'll try to do a couple more. Also, apparently I didn't cast a taboo card. Allegedly. I guess the uh, challenge mode doesn't count, even though I definitely played Gravestone. Oops. That feels like an oversight, to be honest with you. I mean, chat's solid. I, I even poison people. Those That was the literal first time I used taboo cards. From the stranger. Oh, well. So let's go to the main menu and uh, let's chat a little bit. So how do we feel about... Oh, actually, I just noticed there's somebody I didn't give credit to. My bad. Sleeping on the job, chat. That's what you get for waking up at 6.30 a.m. You don't think properly. Thank you, the Internet White Knight. That is quite a name. You're wide open! Yeah, I'm running on 6.30 a.m. o'clock. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it for work hours versus my normal uh, 9 o'clock start, so I am much more tired than I am normally. But I think despite me being tired, I think I had only three misplays where I felt like I genuinely did not mean to input that at all and was could do better. The puzzles, I'm not expecting to first try them. Puzzles are not my strong suit normally. But I feel like I made up for it with the ridiculous Traveler room clear. I hope you enjoyed me playing my entire hand and killing every enemy in that room, aka why do you play Raider? So, <laughs> I feel like that was a good showcase. Raider weak. Unless you're fighting a boss, then you know, they're very good. But man oh man, the um, sheer mobility, AoE, and everything else. He cries in Raider, yeah. I don't know. Like, I think what would have been nice... I was thinking about this while we were playing, and I guess maybe we can have a brief discussion topic now, since it's, like, slightly earlier than I'd like to pause, but there's no way I'm doing a dungeon run kind of thing. So, like, how would you fix Raider? And I was thinking about if they had different mechanics. 
that would have been kind of interesting, or even if just like slightly situational. Like, for example, if they had abilities that pierced armor consistently. I'm surprised there's not any cards from them that have that. Um, I definitely think they needed more, like, if they kill a target, if they overkill a target, then they should have gotten some other ability. I feel like that would have been more in line with Raider than being low HP. Like, you would even just call the ability overkill. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, I feel like it writes itself. <laughs> just overkill. Don't do exact damage, you just overkill. And it just, it could just have like little weak abilities. It could just be like copy a, it could be like when you kill with this, copy another card. So you have another card in your hand later. Like it didn't have to be like game changing mechanics, but I don't know. I feel like a lot of the grit cards just have no synergy with themselves. There's no inherent bonus to being in uh, what would be considered grit state unless you play Raider. So I don't know if there is something they could have done from like a mechanical standpoint. If it's like, if you're low in health, you always draw more cards. Or if you're low in health, you always have one more AP. It feels like they needed something, but I feel like that would just break the other cards. That's the kind of the problem too I've been thinking about. So it's like, it should have been like, oh, here's a great example of overkill. If they slay an enemy with overkill damage, the overkill damage amount should have acted as a shield. Do you know what I mean? Like, they don't need healing necessarily. And that would give you a reason to use, like, your boss slayers. Or suddenly it would make grit a lot safer. It's like, it doesn't need, like, sp I mean, healing would be nice. Don't get me wrong. Or even regen. Like, you could overkill into regen. So if you overkill by five, you get regen five. So you get one HP for five turns. I feel like that's not, like, inherently super broken. It has to have some kind of, like, sane cap, of course. Um, and you know, they could put those restrictions in the game, but I'm just saying like, I feel like there's a lot of levers that weren't explored that I think would have made Raider a lot more interesting. And I feel like, y you know, uh, it's just, it's just like one of those things for sure, where I, I wish they did it just a little differently. And what I find kind of interesting too, is that like they have the wound mechanic. But they also just don't straight up have cards that strengthen yourself. Do you know what I mean? Like, think about, like, when you play games like Slay the Spire. Like, what kind of popular cards do you end up playing when you play Slay the Spire on, like, an Ironclad, for example? Like, ability to shield, ability to pump your stats, ability to just do obscene one-shot damage. And, like, the game, this game kind of has it with the Raider, but it's, like, it's, like, nowhere near as good. Like, these are, these are the kind of ones where they really needed, like, shield plus retaliate, potentially. They should have had, like, maybe it should have been, like, you can convert something into something else kind of abilities that would have been kind of interesting. I, I'm, like, I'm just kind of curious, like, just thinking about, like, potential mechanics, not if they would work within the context of the game. But just in general, I, I just feel like Grit itself is... It's not on enough of their cards, to be honest. Like, think about how many other things we have that are so much easier to use and are just so powerful out of the gate. Like, you, they made one damage cards OP with initiative because it gives AP. There's nothing that really grants them action points. There's nothing where it's like... It could have been something like... They could have had some kind of mechanic, for example, where if you hit an enemy with more HP, which they kind of do a giant slayer already, it could have been like, if you use this on an enemy with more HP than you, this instead costs zero AP. Or this summons a rage card into your hand. Like, they definitely needed, if, if they didn't want to have them doing like a million turns, there should have been maybe a card that generated more free cards, and that should have been an effect as an alternative condition on a couple other cards where it's literally just like the card itself is called smash and all it is is a melee attack that costs zero ap 
like it doesn't do anything else but it's just a free card to do more damage and then that would synergize with wound and then the way you could get it is with grit so that way even if you don't have a lot of mobility options you could have been building something it, it's missing like that one one like cornerstone ability that makes it like really nice where it's you know even with their trade-offs like i don't even think a lot of their trade-off cards are that good like the the cards i like are some of their four rank and five star ones but they have like nothing like there is just absolutely nothing i would splash in from from ranks one to three like i just feel traveler does it better I feel like the summons are way more useful, even at the lower ranks comparatively. Like duplicating a boss, for example, is crazy. And that's only like two stars, I think, in the blue. Because you could copy a lesser version of an enemy. Like there's so many other cards that are just so much more useful and less situational. And I feel like a lot of their three rank ones are like, oh boy, you do like three damage. But it's like, you won't use those cards if you have the ability to splash anyway because like even early on you're looking at basically i can have up to basically rank five of something so it's like it, unless you literally had no rank fives i don't see why or or rank fours i don't see why you would use raider most of the time it's literally only there because you have nothing better which is not a good description of why you should use the deck i mean like like that will inherently happen with anything in the game yeah it's like ah. Oh. Yeah, I, I think they just needed some abilities where, again, it should have just been, like, free costing, or it's like, if you took damage this turn, it should have cost zero AP. Like, there's so many, there's so many, like, little, very simple mechanics that could have synergized into Grit. Like, you know, the, the concept of having the enemy having more health than you, the concept of doing overkill, the concept of, uh, you know, as, as, as I just mentioned there with the other ability, where, you know, all three of those abilities sprinkled on a lot of those super lame do to damage cards where it's not going to inherently break it as is. It's just going to make the card more fun to use because honestly, if we're comparing projectiles outside of the rank fives, like Traveler just does better in every single category that Raider wants to do. It does it safer. It generally is more damage. I mean, we saw the double shot. I can do four damage, draw potentially two cards, and the way it targets is also important. It's like the best you kind of have is Fireball. It's like okay, but it's it's not going to keep your combo going. It's not going to buff your next card. Like, oh yeah, that's another thing they're kind of missing. Like, uh, that that's a common mechanic where you have temporary strength, where you don't have a card where it would be like... It, oh, that would have been a good example of Overkill. <laughs> <laughs> that that would probably break the game but could you imagine in a world where if the overkill was a thing and you killed an enemy by seven damage if you just kept seven temporary strength for your next card the overkill just becomes exponential i mean obviously that's very broken but i'm like you know i just want the, i just want there to be a reason to use these cards but it's just like i mean it got a little better some of their like very late rank three were okay but again, it's like, I'll just do Traveler in all the same scenarios. Being able to multicast is really important. I don't see it like, even just some of the existing abilities, like there's not a lot of like poly hits on them. There's not a lot of like on death. Like the closest you kind of have is like Flame Ring. Like really? That's it? Where is it on like the like line attacks and stuff like that? I mean, maybe I haven't unlocked it yet. I mean, to be fair, I'm missing like eight cards. But, like, there's so many very plain vanilla cards. And honestly, outside of rank one, I don't think most of them should have it unless they do something unique other than damage. Like, I don't think that's needed on a lot of the uh, Oracle cards because they inherently... You know, duplicating cards is powerful. You don't need it to do more things. Drawing more cards is powerful. You don't necessarily need it to do more things. But, like, it should have been playing a little better to the strengths like doing more grit is a start but it definitely needed some other cornerstone ability that would have 
like potentially been like a build like you get not just one card but like five or six cards that have similar abilities and suddenly your wound cards are so much more interesting because think about like how unsynergistic things like wound and grit are like why would i ever really want to wound an enemy there's like no reason to do so most of the time because it's like okay i could wound and spend two ap to do three damage or I could just do 5 damage or 10 damage with a projectile, unconditionally. And I think because of the fact that enemies have multiple health bars, that it just ends up being kind of a problem that Raider doesn't really benefit from bigger numbers. So like once you hit your 4s and your 6s, like how many enemies realistically or do you need to do 10 damage to break their next health bar? I, I don't think we've come across any. Even a lot of the bosses just have five. So it's like, we don't really care most of the time. So it's just kind of one of those things where maybe it should have been like, maybe they should have had a mechanic where like, if you manage to deplete a health bar, but not kill them, it should have triggered an ability. If we're not going to do that, they have more HP than you stuff. Like, because there are some interesting abilities in there. Like, if they gave the ability for Giant Slayer on more cards, and Giant Slayer should have just been, like, a keyword where it's just, like... Um, I, I don't know what they would call it offhand. But if they just transferred that ability, it would have been a lot more interesting. Or, like, for example, they should have allowed for a lot of multi-hit moves. Well, actually, mm, I don't know if I consider that more of a Traveler thing or not. Some of that's kind of flavor text. Yeah, because it's like, oh no, I'm fighting like three goblins that do four damage to me if they happen to get... Or three or four mummies that happen to do five damage if I'm in melee. So it's like, I'm already in like insta-death range as the raider. I don't have any mobility to outrun them. I don't really have good cr terrain. And like, it has lore... But, like, why would you, like, I understand maybe from a splash perspective while it's there, but it has literally no synergy with anything else in the deck. Like, you never want to get hit as the Raider. You are so dead if they hit you. And I feel like because they didn't really, they played into the, like, oh, it's a splash card. Maybe you could do earth and fire kind of things, like the, the, the two colors. Um, in order to build kind of like a tanky melee build. But then like they didn't actually make it work with any of the characteristics of Raider. So it's like if I just want to be a tanky build, why wouldn't I just do Traveler plus Warden? Or if I wanted to do a summon build that was tanky, I would do Warden plus Oracle. Or if I just wanted some healing and more crowd control, I just go pure Oracle. Or, you know, maybe, maybe we'll unlock some really broken cards with the, the the Stranger. I mean, there's a whole bunch of cards I haven't seen yet, but, like, Raider by itself is just very disappointing. Like, could you imagine if it was, like... Yeah, they should have had... So, for an example, the card that Lord, if you were in Grit, should have given you, like, way enhanced shield, for example. I think that's just what it's missing. It shouldn't have, like, high HP spammable heals. It should be, like, very conditional but strong abilities. Like, could you imagine if, like, they had a rank 5 Raider ability that was, like, get immunity 1? Like, how many problems that would solve? Like, not you can use it unconditionally. Like, it needs to have a lot of conditions on it. But, like, Earth slash Warden just gets that. Imagine if you had that in Raider, but it was Grit. So now you have a reason to do it. Because you're like, oh, you know, now I can end my turn, tank everything in the world, and do my my combos. But, yeah, they're, they're kind of missing those things where, like... I don't know if they need a card. I'll call it double strike. Like all it does is just two melee hits where it feels like Traveler has a lot of the abilities that Raider should have had because they have all these multi hits that also have mobility. Whereas Raider just needed multi hits with no mobility or like situational multi hits. So they still feel different from Traveler, but they need to be able to get through those multiple health bars and with very limited card draw, with very terrible AP and uh, no mob basically no mobility on a majority of their cards. They're kind of eh. Like, as you unlock more of the Raider, 
at least out of 80 cards, I could say I could probably get 20 mobility cards. So it's not like they're completely zero mobility, but a lot of their main abilities don't also move them, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but like there's no trade off is the problem. Like I can throw that boomerang. It does four, three, two, one. So that enemy that had three health or four health with two bars, I've now one shot. And then on top of that, not only was it full screen, I drew two cards. Or I could do 10 damage to the four health enemy and not kill them. Or, oh no, I could do three damage to all ground-based enemies, but a lot of the enemies you want to kill have four HP or five. So it's like, it's just okay. And again, like, what would have fixed it is like, do three damage to all enemies or grit, it does four damage. Just like, just like one, it doesn't, it's not even like a big damage change. It's just like a simple thing on the card would suddenly make it so much more useful in so many more scenarios. And, or as I said before, it should be like, if, if it kills something, it does one damage to all nearby enemies. So they, they started doing that. There are a couple cards that do that, but they don't buy into that theme hard enough. And I think it's because they don't keyword it that we don't take advantage of it. Like, I actually like the idea of uh, one of the cards we got, but we didn't play today, for example, where it's like, if you destroy an object or an enemy, it does AOE damage around it. And I'm like, that helps a lot for splash damage. And I would, I would have loved to have seen more of those things on Raider in general. But the fact that we have like 90% of the library and it's like, I can get maybe 40 good cards, and and I mean 40 is that we use like four or five of each of a card. Um, and the fact I'm still struggling at this point to put together a deck is kind of crazy to me. Whereas like Traveler is like every rank three I want in the deck more or less, every rank four I want in the deck more or less, every rank five I want in the deck more or less. And then while Oracle wasn't quite to that same tier, we saw some relics where now like Sleep does six damage. So there's a lot of, so now that sleep lore, which was mostly just kind of like discount mirror orb, <laughs> I guess like if you're splashing it, now has a purpose because you could just straight up kill enemies full screen. Because there's the, there's the piercing laser attack. I think that does sleep, for example. And so now I could get like this cool sleep build due to one curio. But, but that's like kind of the problem is like, We've gotten through almost all the curios in the game, and honestly, I still haven't really come across anything for Raider. Like, the saddest part was the only time I had fun with Raider was when we were doing basically rank fives, or we did melee equals healing, and we weren't even using any Raider cards. <laughs> like, that, that should tell you something's not quite right with the deck, where the most fun I had was just melee them repeatedly, because there's no point to using the Raider cards. And again, like, just imagine if it had been, like, if they had the equivalency of temporary strength. Like, if gridded, um, you get temporary strength where temporary strength makes you deal one more damage with melee attacks for a number of turns equal to the number of stacks of temporary strength. So that way it doesn't scale, so, like, one melee attack does 10, but now you have, like, gradually building it across a couple rooms. You have, like, two or three turns of one extra damage, and then that benefits well with wound, and suddenly the wound decks are a lot more interesting. Like, do you see what I mean? Like, there's just, like, so many, like, really simple, easy solutions that, like, I'm just thinking about it while ultra-tired from work, and these would fix so many problems with Raider. And the only thing you have to do is just like, you sprinkle one or two on rank ones that are just kind of standalone. You, you maybe put them in as grid effects on rank two, maybe. And then you just have it on some other abilities as an additional effect. Like if you kill everything, apply temporary strength or things like that. Or, it, you know, based off the number of enemies you kill with this AOE attack, you get shield or something like that. And it's just like one of those things. And you copy some other weaker effect for later. Like they needed, they definitely needed some kind of card copy and whether, you know, outside of flame ring, they needed something that was like a line attack or just like, 
you know, it's a zero cost melee move and it doesn't give any other benefits. It just literally costs nothing, free melee attack. And that would have solved so many problems that they have where you just want to move, move, attack, but without any AP gain, you're never going to kill anything. But suddenly being able to like move, move, pay zero, pay zero attack, you can kill those like you know, two, two HP enemies or like a four HP enemy or maybe even a five HP, depending on what you have in your hand. And it's just like, they're so close. They're so close. So I hope that they, I, I doubt they'll do anything with it, but those are just off the top of my head. Just like, you know, I, I think they're worth exploring. Not every mechanic obviously is worth putting in because of balance reasons. And, you know, you have to kind of think about it from like the once you have the full encyclopedia what would make sense as something you could get if you took in rank one so you don't want to you know overload the rank ones but honestly i think that rank three through five are pretty much fair game they really should have those abilities that justify it being more than a two point splash in another deck and right now raider doesn't really have a lot i'd want to splash unless i just wanted pure damage which doesn't synergize with most of the other things so i'll never take it um, and I think, so, as I said before, some of their rank 4 and rank 5 are kind of interesting because they're different from everything else. So we'll give shout out to, I think it's called Hurricane, where it does 4 to flying enemies, 1 to everything. But more importantly, it pulls them towards you. So it's like it's solving that problem of they have low AP, how do they close the gap? They needed more of those. They needed way more of those for sure. Or even imagine if, like, the fishing lore ability that pulled people in, if it did something wooden gridded, would have been nice. Or, like, imagine if... I don't know. There, There's so many things they, they could have put on. I, it would have been interesting if there was a card, like, if you have a status ailment active on you. You potentially heal yourself or potentially get shield or something else. Because I feel like that's also a mechanic that we don't see any of the classes playing around at the moment. Or something that eats the the status ailments. Like, just think, again, I'm unfortunately going to compare it to Slay to Sp the Spire, because that's just what's coming to the mind again. But, like, the whole trade-off of things like the Ironclad is that there are these ideas of these curse cards, or these cards you couldn't really get rid of. Like... It would have been interesting if they had like mid-tier abilities to get rid of those status ailments and then either use it to heal themselves or use it to turn into card draw. Like it's all situational. It doesn't have to just it doesn't just have to work like no like zero conditions. This is just a free power card. I mean, honestly, I think they do need some of those, but you know, I I feel like there's a lot of things that they could still investigate to kind of pump it up. And I think with that chat, I don't have anything else to add on the topic. I'm definitely very interested if other people have ideas for how you would buff it. If you were to homebrew some DLC or some mods for the game to fix some of these cards. I mean, obviously, you know, step one, they got to fix the description on thing like Crossfire. Um, Crossfire in particular is very buggy. Is the fact that it shows that it targets you, but it doesn't is very confusing. And I don't know if there's more keepsakes we haven't seen yet that do something with grit, but I'm not impressed with it as a mechanic. It should be like, it should feel like a fallback method until you have rank fives. And to me, it just feels like there's a lot of cards that injure you with like, like I could injure myself for four damage and draw two cards, or I could just draw two cards, damage an enemy safely from a long distance with Traveler at the same rank. Do you know what I mean? It's like, why, why would I do this? <laughs> I, I don't, I don't understand why I would do most of these things. So we'll see chat. I, I doubt we'll see any updates by the time we beat the game, but those are my thoughts. And with that chat, enough rambling. Let's say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, uh, hope you had a good time watching. We're going to be doing more quests next time. We'll see what we do there, and probably by the end of the month, we're just going to go ahead and clean up Dungeon Drafters, because I am more than ready to beat the game at this point. But until then, hope to see you again in the next part.